Hello, good evening, Twin Minds here. Tis release day of Biomutant. And I've been excited for this one for a little while. Uh, in fact, I have the uh, I have the special edition pre-ordered and uh, arrived at my doorstep midday today. I've had that thing pre-ordered since 2018. So, it's been a long time coming. But yeah, here we are. Uh, in fact, I did forget one small thing while I wait for some people to show up. Let me see if I can do this correctly. Oh, this way. That way. I have our little friend right there. Can I get you to, to focus? Focus. Nope, that's not what I wanted you to do at all. I mean, you can look at the wall if you want, but that's fine. Yeah, oh, look at the little dude. That's fine, it's not focusing, but that's okay. So yeah, that's my little dude. Uh, he's actually one of the last pre-orders that I ever did. One of the last pre-orders I have ever done. Um, three years ago at this point. So let's see what that game's like. I did wait to start it because it kind of jumps you right into the uh, intro storyline here. So, sure, let's do that. Let me uh, kill the music and uh, unkill the game. I might need to adjust that. Also, would you capture, please? Ever so kindly. Thank you. Appreciate it. Alright, epilepsy warning. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. You may go into fits if you watch this. Here we go. Let me uh, turn off my face for this. Maybe. That's not my face. This is my face. Feels like that would be a problem. That feels like that might also be a problem. All right then. So I do How believe something as beautiful as this be we're dying. dying. A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? end is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Welcome to Biomutant. Indeed. Welcome to Biomutant. Now, I'm currently doing controller, because um, this, I believe, is a third-person action-y combat kind of game, and I do tend to prefer uh, controller for that. Uh, let me move my face over here until further notice. We shall see. Hello, Sparkle! Hello, Sparkle. Bio-mutant. 
I have refrained from ever really looking too deeply into this game. Um, basically, I saw the I saw the uh, trailer for it like three years ago, and pretty much immediately went to go pre-order it because it had a nifty figure. Uh, and I have not looked back. I, I didn't look into it. I don't. I didn't follow the development. I didn't see if there was any drama behind it. I just set it and forget it. So I know nothing. I can't lead us into this game. I can't explain it. I, we're just gonna have to play it and see what the hell happens. Also, Sparkle, say hello to my little friend. No, little friend. There we go. My little my little bile mutant guy. He may, he may or may not be in a, uh, may not be in the best of positions, but, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. I, I do, I do dig it. So yeah, that's my, that's my little friend. That's, that's actually one of the only times I ever really pre-order games. Is if it's got some sort of awesome nifty figure that I really, really want. And at some point, I will have to figure out a method to get all of my various special nifty figures up on a wall or on a shelf that I can display or something, because I have a lot of them from my decades of gaming. But, Biomutant. Let's play the game. Select it, difficult, sure, medium. Until it kicks my ass and then we'll ch uh, change it down. Mouse away. Hello, little dude. Encode your DNA. Oh. Encode your DNA, you say? Oh. Oh. We have character selection. And they're all derpy and adorable. So we have... Primal is a nimble, developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid with a gene mutation, making them nimble and dexterous at the cost of lesser developed intellect. A Dumdun, Dumdon, is the least developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid sh offshoot of that uh, compensates the lack of mental prowess with physical strength. Rex is an extraordinary developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid outcast with even DNA strain, making it apt for both physical and mental challenges. Also adorable. A Hyla is a regenerative developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid with a gene mutation, making them extremely tough and resilient. <laughs> this guy just looks derpy. The, fl the FIP breed is renowned for highly evolved mind. Its genius is directly interlinked to power... Uh, to the power of key or chi, uh, which powers, uh, which amplifies their psionic output. So we have psionic powers. Okie dokie. Um, Mergle. Mergle is the definition of an idealized breed. Its evolutionary lineage has uh, gone in a direction where form and appearance has dominated over function. How is that idealized if it's form and appearance is dominated over function. All right, sure. So we've got intellect focused, power, key energy, and energy regen. Uh, we also have various luck percentages, sure. So to start at the top, we've got a little bit each in uh, vitality, strength, and intellect. Um, this one has Interesting. I'm, I'm a little bit confused by red versus green. Um, but the Rex, I think, was kind of where I was aiming for because it's got kind of a mix of all of them. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay, so the red and green is a comparison against the last one you selected. Got it. So this one has 
lower everything except for higher energy regen versus the dum dum. This guy's got higher everything except for energy regen. Uh, this guy's got higher health and higher intellect, but lower strength. Got it. Got it. Little bit of a wonky comparison method, but that's fine. Uh, I think Rex, because he's flippin' adorable. These two look kind of sort of derpy. He looks just angry. He's like a a honey badger or something. He's adorable. He's derpy. And he's our main protagonist. Who, by the way, is kind of sort of adorable. But I like this guy. He's more adorable. Um, it would be nice if I could do a comparison against the Rex and the Primal. But I don't think I can do that. But I can see... So the main character has a slightly higher crit chance. Otherwise, it looks kind of like Rex has overall better stats, which is fine by me. Well, let's do do that thing. To find your character's starting attributes to see more detailed explanations of what it can affect each, each attribute has, press that button. Define your genetic structure. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's just freaking terrifying, is what that is. <laughs> Alright, uh, this is freaking weird. So we can give him a really big head and a scrawny everything else. We can make him all long and limber. We can make him all... Buff and muscly with a really tiny pinhead. Uh, we can make him all thick. Or we can make him freaking adorable. Interesting. Now, I don't know what charisma has to do in this game. Uh, also, I wish I could get my sound edit on, but I haven't been offered that yet, unless... Encode your DNA. Yes. Unless I missed it. I could have missed it. And I think that's partly because I wasn't paying attention to audio because I was distracted. Uh, settings. Audio. Yes. Okay. Uh, so let's do... A little bit lower. A little bit lower. I think we'll leave the speech up just because if Dude Man needs to talk, I need to probably hear it. Uh, user interface can drop down quite a bit, because that was just being really obnoxious. And, oh, I guess I could, uh, turn on all this stuff. Hi, Drakes! Enjoy your garbage TV! Right, we'll, leave, we'll leave it at that for now. We can probably adjust it later. Okay, medium. Give me my character select. Encode your DNA. Rex. Define your genetic structure. Okay. Less loud and obnoxious now. Perfect. Okay. So. We can go up to 99-ish. We can go up to 100 strength. Oh, that's weird. The genetic code just kind of keeps spazzing as we're doing the thing. Alright, let's hit some randomized buttons. Um, sure. So if anything, I probably would tend towards agility and intellect, if anything. Um, but I don't necessarily want to skimp out on everything else. So... Maybe just a dash more into agility and intellect than everything else? So my vitality is a little bit low, my strength is a little bit low, and my charisma is a little bit low, which is a barter thing, which, you know, if I were 
desperate to make a whole bunch of money, I'd probably would go more charisma, but uh, hopefully that's something that we can compensate for by brute force. Just throw a whole bunch of stuff at it and get more money. Um, sure, let's go with this. If it goes horribly, horribly wrong, we can always start over. So my genetic code is that. That number down there. I don't know if that means anything, but that's fine. Also, I'm hoping my face isn't going to be in the way of all of this in the future. But for right now, I'll leave this as it is. Uh, so let's do that button I just fecked up. Sure. That. Confirm. Choose a genetic resilience. Oh, genetic resilience, you say? I'm, I'm not entirely sure how much this matters. But let's kind of go across the board. 6% across is fine. Sure. Choose your fur style. Fur style. Oh. Oh. Neat. Let's hit some random, see what happens. Uh, I kind of like the little red dude up here. Kind of like the little red dude. So I'm trying to figure out what what colors do what or what what areas do what. Um, so this one is kind of like a a rusty deep red. So it's kind of a mix modeled pattern. I'm starting to wonder how much of this is completely and totally random. Let's go with this guy. Let's go with this guy. We've got, we've got the, the red fox look to him. Sure. That guy. You like the reddish with white eyes? He does kind of look like a red panda. Reddish with white eyes. Was that similar to this one? I, I'm I'm really not entirely clear what leads to what in this place. Really not clear. This one's kind of raccoonish. Can I do? Yeah, I think this could have been not. A roaming circle. Um, I think that could have done better with uh, like specifics, like face pattern, back pattern, ear pattern, whatever. But that's fine. We'll we'll, we'll stick with this one. I like this one. Pick your main color. Oh, for frack's sake! What am I? What is my, oh? Main color. So we can be other colors. Oh, okay. So we can we can be like a, a violety purple kind of deal. It can be green, cause green uh, brightness, all of the bright. It could be like a neon pink. <laughs> um, let's let's stick with the red, cause I kind of I got it attached to the red. Let's make it a little bit darker. I think that'll do. Maybe maybe a little bit more towards orange. I know I'm I'm tempted on the purple. Could go with like a uh, a a deep almost blue purple that's kind of like one of my favorites.
Could do it. Could do it. Could, could be our little purple friend. Alright, I'm doing it. We're, we're being our little purple friend. Choose your detail color. Son of a bitch! Oh. 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 Fascinating. Fascinating. That almost makes me wonder what the other fur patterns would look like now that we've... Now that they've teased us and told us, oh, hey, by the way, you can pick your colors. Well, I think that's a little bit too colorful. I think I might stick with white on this. I think I might stick with the white. Maybe we'll go a little bit crazy next time, if there, if there is a next time. Okay, class. So, mer mercenary. This one is actually one that was uh, part of the pre-order. So, I potentially could go with this. Um, twin silver grip, melee dual wield skill, uh, equip two different one-handed melee weapons, dual wield them. Um, Fury, melee, uh, melee weapon attacks inflict 10% more damage to the target. So this is very melee oriented. So, not great considering I picked an intellect and agility, but agility can do well with a two blade style because that could typically lead to a lot of small attacks over and over again. Uh, we've got dead eye, perfect reload to reload range weapons. Um, and your next magazine is granted 20% damage. Okay, I can dig it. Commander. Uh, commando range weapon attacks inflict 10% more damage, just straight up. Cypher. I do love me some lightning, lightning zappy zaps. Spark ball. To shoot a spark ball, press down the input you have bound to the ability to. It will make you throw the ball in the direction you are facing, inflicting damage to the enemies. Your key energy regen is increased by 20%. Alright. Saboteur. Okay. Twin silver grip. So this is the same as mercenary and then hypergenetic your dodge energy cost is reduced by 20% so much more mobile um, so mercenary is two blade and damage saboteur is two blade and dodge got it oh that's like a big old stick base armor is increased by 10% so it's a big old stick this is a bruiser um, that's a tough call actually Psy Freak obviously could be pretty fun, but also something Saboteur. really uh, bouncy and mobile, like Saboteur could be fun. Scythe Commander, Deadeye. Deadeye obviously is our default class, like the one that the game is kind of based on. Mercenary. Hmm. Mercenary is kind of out, because uh, I don't Deadeye. really Commander. have a need. S Sentinel for melee damage on this character. So I'm thinking Saboteur, Saboteur to make use of my extra agility Psy or Psy Freak because I went extra intel. Let's go with the Psy Freak. I think Psy Freak is definitely where, I am, where I'm aiming here. Psy Freak chosen. Indeed. Psy Freak has been chosen. You are correct. Ready to start. Sure. Good choice. Right. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. You, Squidgy. Bunny hop. Uh, I might need to adjust. We have a photo mode. Of course, we have a photo mode. Um, I need to adjust the sensitivity ever so slightly. We're already at a crossroads. 
Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. Hmm. So first thing to note, I can't move. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. I see. Dark red for strength and power, or light blue for freedom and loyalty. Hmm. Are we going light side or dark side? I do have the force lightning. I do have the force lightning. Kinda tempted. Strength and power. Fuck it. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of the balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. I'll call you Lucy. Um. <laughs> I am one with the darkness. I can't believe you'd choose that thing over me. But I'll be here waiting for you when you have a change of heart. Interesting. That thing? I'm right here. Let me remind you, we're two halves of the same. With the difference being I'm the better half. Better half? My way is both better and brighter. Light makes it easier to see the best end. Hint, motherfucking hint. <laughs> the best end is the one you decide yourself. And it seems we're headed in the right direction. Hmm. <laughs> Just beats her out of the air with a shovel. Sure, why not? Aura. Somewhat dark. Great. Great. So, um, as I was saying, first thing to note is that we have gross puddles everywhere. We have our gross mutated hand. And we have bags of trash everywhere. Oh. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. I like it. Okay, so we have a fork. They didn't necessarily specify that left is dark and right is light, but that's usually how it goes. So I'm gonna go this way. Guess left can be right sometimes. Yes. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm playing a little bit of um, Stanley Parable here, going against the normal options at every possible moment. It's fucking pretty though. Look at that little face. <laughs> Look at that little face. Look at his little face. Look at it. Look at it. He's got a silly little face. He got a silly little overbite. A, uh, this way. Oh, we have friends. I can hear them. Hmm. Death this away comes. Sure. Oh. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Those furry little blue zebra. Meat eaters meat. Um, so... I also don't know anything about this. I literally saw the intro trailer and pre-ordered it like three years ago. And in fact, Trix, take, take a peek at my uh, little friend. I have the pre-order statue thing right there. Yeah. I, I've heard of this... Three bloody years ago, like February of 2018, and I knew nothing about it, and I've known nothing about it since then, because I haven't looked anything up. So I know very little. All I know is it's an open-world RPG. So I'm assuming choices matter in some fashion or another, especially with that light-dark choice. You're right, it does seem very Fable-esque. 
Um, I'm, I'm very curious where this is going to go. I can also say that uh, the reviews for this have not been kind. And I don't know why yet. Um, in fact, when it first launched on Steam, like the first couple hours, it was overwhelmingly negative at like 400 reviews. Um, it has since moved back up to mixed at like 1500 reviews, but still, it's, it has not been well received, and I'm not sure why yet. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family, or did you choose to forget? You yes, turned that your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. All right. Oh. 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 Hi. Ow. Monkey wheel. Oh, okay. Phoenix Flight is that button. Okay. Okay. Ow. Can I carry this nonsense? Yes, I can. I just kicked his club in twain. Oh, we're playing this scene. All right. Make a run for it. Oh. This is not the time nor place to end this story. <laughs> Hi, fast car. Uh, not really late. I'm just just starting. Really, just beginning. I mean, here's our intro title card, so, you know. Basically, I just. Picked my character and it was best to it. run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Probably should not be near the big bomb thing. Um uh oh. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, so left trigger. That button. Left trigger. Left trigger. Okay. Pew 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 pew. Okay. That's a th that's a thing. So we have a little bit of a, a Max Payne style um, bullet time hang shoot thing. Complaints about the narrator and the story being bad? Yeah, see, I I knew that the reviews were not great for it. I don't know the details. Um, and I haven't looked up anything about this game prior to playing it, so... I'm as blind as I possibly can be. It's kind of kind of gooey in here. It's kind of real gooey in here. Wait. Hold up. Hide UI. Is it taking pictures without the UI? Alright, it's fine. Um, performance is great. Uh, let me... <laughs> whereabouts. Right, whereabouts. Uh, set settings. Settings. Let's go ahead and save while we're here. Sure. Um, settings. Video. Full screen. 1440. Graphics at max. Uh, 
And currently hitting 70 FPS, give or take. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Right. Melee targeting. Move towards an enemy to target them with melee attacks. And the camera towards the enemy to target them with ranged attacks. Reload your ranged weapon, push right button. Use ability, that button. Throw a sparkling ball of key energy, that button. Keys used for dodging, special attacks, etc. Okay. So. Get zapped. Can we uh, finish reloading, please? Beat up the moleman. Eww, have fun, tricks. Uh, some some light targeting, yes. All right, so down the hall that way. What's this way? A truck and not much else. Okay, that's fine. Now it's even more like Stanley Parable now that I'm following the yellow line on the ground. Because uh, I mentioned I mentioned Stanley Parable because I think just just before you showed up I had been pretty much doing the opposite or the the negative outcome of everything the narrator had been saying so far, and he's a little bit snarky like the Stanley Parable narrator uh, narrator as well. So now we've got a yellow line on the ground. Oh, the ammo crate you say? Punt. I got a thing. Sweet weapon add-on. You found a weapon add-on. Attach it to your ranged weapon to give it an extra damage type for as long as the ammo lasts. Okay. And we do have uh, energy resistances. Wonderful. Sweet. Uh, fur card artifacts. I don't know what that means. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope, that's okay. I'll do that later. What? What does this button do? Oh, that's the parry button, right. Uh, gear. Change equipment. Yep. What are you talking about? Fur card artifacts? Outfits, yup. Automaton, great. Inventory, consumables. Oh, yeah. The, the fur effects on the characters, not the best in the world. I say it's passable, but yeah, it's not the best. I'm not going to expect very good fur rendering on a game that's attempting to get good FPS. Medical supply bag. Uh, your health does not automatically regen in combat. Have to use consumables or find other ways to heal. Sure. I kick it. Kicked it. 
Great. Yeah, you and you're getting spoiled by things. The moment you see something better, you refuse to go back. <laughs> Alright, so up, not up. Okay. And this is very much a, uh, a human style bunker. Oh no. Oh, found health packs in the toilet. Sure, I'll take it. All right, up we go. Seems strong enough. For now. What am I hearing? Oh, this little guy. I guess he's been making little chirpy noises. Now, I find it interesting that they don't introduce him. He's just kind of there. Like I don't know, I don't know if he's our little pet friend, if he's just a tag along. I mean, I did see an option to uh, push the right button. Um, I did see an option to change out his appearance. The automaton has accompanied you since you were a kidling. It's old world tech makes it a potent communication device, but this, uh, the Scraptronics also have advanced features. Can give it a flashlight. Neato. Health injector, glider, turret, and boost. Appearance? Cricket. Grasshopper. Cricket hopper. Oh yeah, it's a robot. It's a little, it's a little robot bug friend. Um, so when the game first starts off, it goes into the initial um, trailer that we've seen for the game for quite some time. And it does a very, very close zoom in on it, and you can see it's very much a, a robot. The oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death. But some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution oh, has its ways. Let's not, shall we? Parrying, right. Ow, I'm getting shot. Ow. Can you stop that, please? Ow. Look at that face. <laughs> Look at that fucking face. <laughs> uh, there is no real premise. The only real premise so far that, that we've been given is the tree of life is in danger from an unknown or at least undisclosed threat, although it's fairly clear that it's rotting tech and chemicals and stuff. Um, and we were given a choice between light and dark, very unexplained at the very beginning. Um, and that's it. We're saving the tree of life. <laughs> Ow, don't follow me, jerk. Looting! Looting! I got pills. Remember kids, take every random drug that you find on enemies. You. You. Oh. That's just straight up like a tar pit. Okay, that's great. Lovely. I'm over here now. Ooh. That's a good find. I got two clink. Whatever clink is. I'm assuming that's our currency. Yes, ambiguous open world furry hack and slash RPG. Yep. I don't know what people are mad about. It's not like it advertises anything different. 
Like, I knew it was an, an open-world hack-and-slash RPG that featured furry characters. Like, that's that's the entire premise and how it's been the entire freaking time. <laughs> no idea what people are all up in arms about. Yeah, the combat system's fine. Oh, are you gonna... You're gonna shoot me, aren't you? Oh. Ow. I didn't see him coming. Hey, guys. Come here. Come here. You, sir. That was that was not the right button. I am sorry. Uh, no. Ow. <laughs> Owie. Owie. Uh, I don't know if you can shoot it before he throws it, and quite frankly, the aiming is a little bit janky, especially with controller. I might actually switch over to a uh, mouse and keyboard to see if it's any different. Um, I got dainty. Whatever dainty is, it's a health regen. Sure. Do you have stuff for me? You don't have stuff for me. Do you have stuff for me? You also don't have stuff for me. So yeah, the the aiming, there isn't really an easy aiming. Um, what you've got is it just just does standard aiming while you're while you're doing regular old combat. So if you're trying to dodge an enemy, uh, you do have like this move gives you a little bit of a dodge as well as firing. And then you've got you've got like a Max Payne style kind of that thing. It's a little bit weird. Texanol Oil Depot. Feel like I probably shouldn't go down there. That's probably a bad thing. So I'm I'm curious if it plays any better with mouse and keyboard. Where is my dodge? That's my little hop. What, what is dodge on keyboard? Alt is dodge. Interesting. Alright, let's give this a try for a little bit. See how that goes. Only difference being complete lack of uh, analog WSAD, so I can't uh, can't very easily walk or anything like that. But it's fine. It's fine. Howdy, smooth agent. I, I was lost for a moment there because you and uh, Fast Car are both green, so I didn't see a difference for a moment there. Howdy. I know there are keyboards for that, and I find that silly because you have to bind the up and down axis for each one of them, every single frag and key. Shielder. Great. Okie dokie. Uh, I did not look for my parry button. I should have done that. Ow. Probably should have looked for my, uh, my, uh, block, or my, uh, parry button. Um, yep. Defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP. I know how XP works. Ding! Uh, this is... a... tickling toffee. Sure. 
You don't have anything. You have shiny mo monies for me. And you have dandy candy. Dandy candy. Alright. Button. Perry. Perry. Q is Perry. I probably should rebind that. But I don't know what I would rebind that to because I'm not used to these kind of games on mouse and keyboard. I do find the, the um, shooting aiming to be a lot easier with mouse and keyboard, obviously. Um, but the um, third person, like traditional action combat, I'm much more used to with uh, controller. So I'll have to. I don't know. I don't know. Nope. Except for that part. Look, an emergency box from the once was a rare sight. A crowbar. Oh. Hey, I got a crowbar. Oh, an old world claw bar. Gotcha. Okay, uh, so we should hopefully be able to equip that. Nope. Can we not equip that? Hand. Ah, okay. Got it. So, spark gloves are what I have equipped currently. So, the crowbar is more of a utility thingy. Got it. Uh, what is my health at, by the way? Right, I have a level. Yeah, Smooth Agent. I um, I first pre-ordered this back in February of 2018, so I also wanted to try this game when I first heard about it. Um, there's my uh, my little special character dude. My 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 little figure that came with that. Leveling up increases a an attribute of your choice by ten. Okay. Uh, agility, intellect, charisma. We can also go with luck to get some more lootsies happening, plus crit chances. Hmm. Move speed does sound nice. Um. The only thing I missed, <laughs> this, this is what I missed, um, agility, speed, and that's it. Okay. Um, I was kind of hoping that it would also have like a side effect with uh, the gunnery or something like that. Intellect is key energy, key regen, um, damage with psi powers and mutations. Also defines the amount of moves you can perform when trying to complete puzzles, so intellect is well-rounded and has a lot of uses, whereas agility is just speed. That's it. Just, just speed. Charisma is persuading other characters. Luck is crit chance and loot chance, which makes it doubly useful. Um, vitality is health and energy cost of dodging. Strength is melee damage. There doesn't appear to be any stat that affects shooting, which is interesting, because that would normally go under agility. Fascinating. Um, okay. So then the question is, do I get extra lucky for better crit chance? Although, I'd say a 1% boost in crit chance is not spectacular. Um, but doubling your loot chance, maybe? Move chance sounds kind of neat, but intellect is kind Kind of where I'm building right now. Also, uh, there's a single additional pixel that gets added to the agility bar whenever you uh, mouse over that. It's ever so fancy of an increase. Um, I think I would go probably either luck or intel. Huh. Let's go Intel. Let's keep the... Get it. 
Let's keep the smartness going. Upgrade points. You'll earn upgrade points when leveling up. These can be used to acquire new special attacks and perks. Time to unlock your first special attack. Okay. Ranged or melee? Wung Fu. Two pillars of Wung Fu. The core martial arts you start with and the weapon mastery techniques that you unlock with upgrade points gained from leveling up. So close combat, unarmed. Ranged combat, guns. Um, quite frankly, I've been doing a lot of um, melee combat. Hmm. Hmm, I guess I, I think my my toughest choice here is going to be whether I'm going to continue mouse and keyboard or whether I'm going to go back to controller. Because one is going to be a lot more focused on melee and the other one's going to be focused on ranged. Unless I can figure out how to buy my keys properly. Um, hmm. The melee was really fun, especially like sliding through the enemy's legs and climbing up on his back and beating his skull. That was kind of fun. Melee, unarmed. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, phantom paw. Right click. Or. X. Okay. Uh, Phoenix sweep is the B and then X. So it's a little bit of a dodge and then crazy kick thing. And then we've got the Knuckle Warp, uh, A and then X, which is kind of like a little bit of a, a, a jump slam kind of deal. And then the Azure Paw, which is just beat the ever-loving piss out of them repeatedly. Now, the, un the unspeakable hand. Oh dear. Ooh, that looks fun. Look at that. Oh, it's literally under my face. Okay, hold up. <laughs> a little, little bit of a combo action, and then up in the air and suplex him or something like that. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then the next is blow nose. Which is shoot, shoot, pirouette, and then fist to face. Interesting. Uh, I also want to go back and just look at the ranged options. Give me the mouse off of there. Guns. So we've got Feathers Flight, which is pew, pew, pew. Uh, flipped Phoenix, which is a little bit of a, a jumpy, Max Payne, dodgy kind of action. The Sliding Snake, which is the dodge, pew, 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 pew option. And then Crane Dance. It's just melee attack and then a pew. Okay, that's fine. And then Praying Mantis is flying up in the air, doing a little bit of a spinny jig and then shoot. Definitely gonna think I'm gonna go with melee. So let's go with the unspeakable hand. Confirm Wang Fu. Why, yes. Ew, tricks. Ew. Welcome back. Alright. It's been selected. Okay. Wung Fu and perks. Once you have more upgrade points, remember to spend them in perks and special attacks in Wung Fu perk doohickey. So this is the Wung Fu, and then we've got perks. Perks are genetic advantages or skills acquired either through choosing class at character creation or unlocked with um, upgrade points. So we've got various perks like these. One's just called wet. <laughs> but there's an H in there, so we know what that means. Uh, and then we've got Psy Freak. So I start off with Mega Mind. We can also get Nocturnal, which is Intelligence at Night. Interesting. A Fival character? Oh man, that would be kind of great. I bet you could do it. 10% um, crit chance. Nice. Okay, okay. I get it. Locked. Got it. 
So we're going back this way, and we can crack open that door now that we have the uh, the crowbar. Sorry, the claw bar. That's not how you use a crowbar. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Ah, the claw bar. Anything else in here? No. Okay. Smoosh. And down we go. Whoa. Wee. Yeah. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. All right. So my first guess is that people who are salty about the narrator are the same kind of people who wouldn't like Stanley Parable. Like, just, just bottom line. They don't like people talking in their ear all the time. They never pay attention to storyline. They just want to go, go, go and shoot things. Because otherwise there's no reason to hate this guy. Rabbit sleep. Double jumpies. Love it. It, it has a very similar technological feel to Horizon Zero Dawn. And uh, actually, when I, when I first started playing this and hearing about all of the bad reviews, my first thought was, if this doesn't end up making me happy at all, I'd probably start a playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn instead. Just to get that similar, like, post-apocalyptic tech feel to it. So what's, uh, what's, what's going on here? Looks very ominous. Orcs produce biomatter in their multi organ that they shed ah. under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any. Well, I was in the middle of doing stuff. Living being when absorbed, including you. Oh, right. Can we, um. Oh, I missed. Back up. Ow. Ow. Back up. <laughs> bio blobs. You absorbed a bio blob. These are points used to unlock mutations. You collect bioblog by defeating morks and finding containers at various places in the world. Special powers! You can use the bioblobs to unlock special powers. Um, so I played a... I would say a fair bit of Horizon Zero Dawn on the console. Um, and Horizon Zero Dawn actually... Funny story, I accidentally pre-ordered and bought two of the collector's edition. <laughs> so I actually have two of the collector's edition statues laying around. Um, but I played a fair bit on console and something dragged me away, I don't recall. And uh, I've always been meaning to get back to that. Now it's back out on PC, I wanted to do a PC run. Wait, is there a thing I can do with that? Are you, are you a, a thing I can do? Looks kind of like it's a thing I can do. Hmm. It's pulsating when I shoot it, but that's about it. Uh, MH? Are you talking about Monster Hunter? Uh, because I haven't actually played that game. interesting. Toxanol built vessels called arcs 
to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Hmm. Let's tone down that light, but still have light. All right. Nope, that wasn't the button. We ha we have a we have a draw button. I like it. Look at it. Look at this derpy little dude. Look at him. Derpy, derpy little overbite. Yeah, it's not it's not the best fur effect, especially not at a distant or at uh, at close range. Look at that derpy face. Oh, are you going to be exposition? Rotation puzzle. You found a puzzle. These are scattered throughout the world. Uh, some open new paths, while others others feature different rewards. Switch nodes uh, selected. Use that. Rotate. Press that. This is the number of rotations you have left. The higher your intellect, the more moves you have. Each node has a certain position it must be rotated into to complete the puzzle. Running out of moves before that may have consequences. Um. All right, what am I rotating? Okay. Okay. Nope, that was not the correct answer. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinor Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Kind of want to figure. Kind of want to. Kind of want to figure. Uh, pew pew box braca. Pew pew box braca. Sure. Uh. Sparky gloves, yep. Yeah. And then I don't think I need any drugs currently, so we'll leave that. Uh, yes, actually, a friend did benefit from me buying two copies, so I still have two of these statues because uh, she wasn't interested. But I have uh, she she bought my other copy fairly cheap. And as for what am I? I don't know. Mutant rat thing. <laughs> Mutant bipedal rat thing. Of 
spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. Hmm. It's coming from behind that door. Indeed. Never a good thing. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Um. I mean, I can do something about that. Sort of. Nope, I can't do something about that. What about... Oh, uh... Is it equipping or is it unequipping? Because it says no ranged weapon. Like, what the frack? I'm assuming I just have to interact with it. It's going to take ah. a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Ah, I see. Well, so far the puzzles have not been too terribly difficult. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Yeah, bad, bad. There you go. <laughs> you mean Rocket Raccoon's inbred cousin? I mean, we are literally a product of nuclear waste and radiation. So, I mean, I, I, I have no problem calling this guy incredibly derpy. Ah. What? Hold up. Hold up. What? Hold up. What? What are you, sir? Looks kind of like a sloth. This is as far as I can get, by the way. Uh, I can zoom in a little bit more. Uh, maybe a mole? A pirate mole. He's got a peg leg. Hmm. Fascinating. Hmm. Is he our narrator? Yeah, he definitely has a Sid face, for sure. Ah. Airstrike! Perfectly countering an enemy will stun them. A stunned enemy has stars circling about their head. After hitting the enemy again, you can launch up in the air by pressing that button. Sure. The wheeled one is outnumbered. Hello. You better help him out. Oh, he's our friend. Hello. Okay, hang on. I somehow accidentally turned off my gear, and I couldn't get it to re-equip. Like it wasn't it wasn't letting me re equip for some reason. Torso. That button. Legs. That button. Where's my gun? Back. Head. Face. Hmm. I don't know how to equip my gun. That might be a challenge. That might be a challenge to figure out later, after I finish kicking these guys in the ass. Let's loot before I talk to the wheeled one, because it's important.
all of the shiny loots. Okay, I got all the things. Yeah, how the frack do I equip my gun again? There we go. Okay, got it. Oh god, it's kitty time. But, but... But, but, okay. Okay, fine. I'm finding a kitty. BRB while I find a kitty. He's just gonna, he's just gonna dangle. He's just dangling. even further. Kitty. <laughs> I love how nonchalant he is about it. Just randomly starts licking his foot. He's like, oh, okay, this is, this is a thing now. What's on your foot? What's on your foot? He's got, a, he's got litter between his toes. That's gross, Kitty. <laughs> gross, Kitty. Bye. <laughs> okay, back to game. Beep. All right, we're following the uh, following the crazy old man. Or, oh, closing the door behind us first. <laughs> I, I'm glad you discovered the options as well. Hello, old man. Hang on. Picture old man. He's got um, blue pumpkin looking things. Whatever the fuck that is. Um, is that... Radium syrup. That sounds delicious. And of course he has... A nifty rifle thing. And a peg leg. Ew, look at them toenails. Yikes. Yikes. Alright. And then, and then there's me, being as derpy as ever. Oh, no. No wieldy gun at old man. Hello. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. 
He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. Ba no yuanu kotu von ko kumun kono. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. His name is out of date. I thought that was the name of the mission, but no, that's the name of the dude. Kuzata Ghetto. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. Ba no yuanu kutuvun popotoe. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. Yuba Dolowawa. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. Tolidrea ya maoloa loma utulu ba yowo. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark. A facial scar to remember the past. Hmm. Remember what though? How Lupa Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? Lupa Lupin. There's no doubt you're the child. And that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. Hmm. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back. But he's grateful you have. Are you calling me slow? It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Moomer's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Tell me of said unity. Mpa, wherefore, where? Yayato. After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted, and over time, the disciples turned against each other. So, Mama was a cult leader. And when shit hit the fan, they weren't quite as unified as they thought they were. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. About that. A new friend! Uh, yes, so I changed my dialogue settings to... Wait for me to advance so I don't miss stuff. Gives also gives me a moment to react to things. Way back in the long ago, I was a wee little fuzzy tot. I was a wee little derpy fuzzy tot. Look at it, look at that derpy little face. Look at him, look at him. He's adorable. Stupid looking and adorable. I love him. Talk to best before. This is pretty, by the way. Like, this is just pretty. I like it. It's pretty. May not have the best of textures, but it's still pretty. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> what the fuck? Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. I hope I told her. Alright, Fonzie. Well, well, well. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. <laughs> He understands why you came all the way so out stupid. here to see <laughs> them, the potato people. The potato people. The potato people, or Nono, 
are a wonder, somehow interlinked with this little tree here, fueling its source of life. Potato people is definitely better. <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. <laughs> The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. I gotta go piss off the uh, potato people. And also probably eat them. Alright. Let's go piss off the potato people. Yes, eat man. I don't have any weapons. I, I, I can, I can kick and punch and do stuff. I have very little dodgy energy. Good to know. Oh, pretty. It's pretty. I like it. Yeah, the the Elvis character is a little bit uh, a little bit funktastic. I am supposed to rustle up. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. What's Pensai? The small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. It'll be the heart of the land. Okay. <laughs> You'll need to support the tree for a long time to come. Bye, the Vascar. only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. So, we sacrifice and murder the little potato people so that their energy can make the tree of life. It's fair. Howdy, kinder. <laughs> You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. Why am I being gentle with the things we're about to sacrifice to the tree god? The Nano main quest. Catch the Nano. Yep. No, come back here. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. Glad you like it. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nano out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. Uh, where? They're hiding in the glitter grass that mostly grows deep inside damp caves, where they draw mineral from the natural rock. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. Really hard time taking that guy seriously, but it's also amusing, so I'm digging it. That's fine, Kinder. Not all days can be, uh, overly productive days. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. So, it is my turn to sacrifice the little ones to the tree god. Let's see, you're really big. Or I'm really little. It's hard to say. I don't even come up to your knee. Alright, 
so we're shuffling our tiny little self over to the tree of life to sacrifice the sentient potato. Seems like a normal day to me. Nice. Three baskets of laundry folded. Very nice. The tree of life. All right, little potato thing, get sacrificed. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. Never did. I was all on board with the potato sacrifice train. <laughs> From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. Good man. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. Fonzi has found his best life. <laughs> You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. Um... Hmm... I'll be a good little boy. Until I go complete dark side. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. Hmm. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. So is this the same guy then? He clearly doesn't sound the same, but he's got the same physique, and the naming scheme kind of matches. So previously he was named best before, and now he's out of date. Hmm. He says he remembers every single day he devoted. It is the same guy. Tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. Very different change in personality. Maybe it comes from uh, tending the tree of life over time. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. I mean, I have both of these questions, but I'm not sure it's going to let me ask both of these questions. So. I mean, I get end of days, but tell me about these world eaters. The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse, the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land, set the world eaters' DNA into overdrive. Okie dokie. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done <laughs> with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Okay. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. You know, it's hard. It's, it's slightly hard to take World Eaters 
seriously if they're all named Puff. Hmm. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. <laughs> Porky Puff? Question <laughs> mark. How can I defeat these things? His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mecton, the Octopod, the Majute, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. So we have a bunch of neat things to ride? Sure. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Miss Puff as the final boss? Oh no. Or could it be Puff the Magic Dragon? Aww. He's giving me his net. Thanks. Th thanks. I think. Okay, bye. Is that really all you had for me, buddy? Just, just backstory me and then hand me your net for some reason? Alright, I guess I have the net now. Can we, uh... You're getting the hang of it. Why? Hold up. What? Why did I need to crowbar that open when it was open moments ago and I just closed it behind me? Just get really stuck or something? The quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. All right, We're going up through the roof. And we're outside. We got power lines. Um, so speaking of power lines, uh, we have the map. And you can kind of see them ghosted on the uh, terrain here. So we have neat power lines to follow. We have four uh, Puff the Magic Dragons at the end of each tentacle of the tree. Uh, we've got Whereabouts, Dead Zone, Surfapelago, uh, Nupstonies, Yerp Fields, Mushimosh Mire, Cluppy Dunes, and Fnackle Leaves. Sure. Sure, why not? Um, so far the game's been pretty good. Um, it's... Got some quirks with the combat system. Not a huge deal. Um, it's got quite a wide variety of character selection. Uh, so far, a story that's... I would go with fairly generic so far. Humans have fucked the world and we're here to unfuck it. But aesthetically, it's feckin' gorgeous. As we have a perfectly no, timed zoom out here. Is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Indeed. Oh, hey, we have another title card. In case you forgot what game you're playing. That was the official title card, because I just got the achievement, The Adventure Begins. So I've officially started playing the game. Interesting. I don't want to sprint. Leave me alone. What if I just want to saunter to my destiny? Huh? What if I just want to go real all slow about it? Take my time. Survey the scenery.
A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. That's me. I am cartographically challenged. Map. Sweet. Let's see. Really? <laughs> he just he just peed on the signpost. What the fuck? <laughs> Signposts are found near locations of interest all around the world. You'll unlock the signpost when interacting with it. You can fast travel to a signpost you've unlocked by selecting another map. To open the map, press that button. Great. Literally just peed on the signpost to mark his territory. Let's see. I mean, I have a lot of fucking games, kinder. And a good majority of them I haven't played yet. Narrated by David Shaw Parker. Good man, good man. I like your voice so far, sir. Pretty. 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 Not so pretty. Hello, friend. You are very large and in charge. Hello. Are you a puff? That must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. Why did you? The world eaters have Where? made their marks on our world over time. Where did you go? How did the giant? Pink fuzzball with three heads just disappear. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Alright. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. Aw, sad critter thing. Screw survivors. I'm looting. Uh, you are very much dead. Okay. I am I am sorry. I was not responsible. Hello. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Oh, what a coincidence, Kinder. I'm also playing that game. <laughs> Aura, your inner balance is two halves that completes a wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through the deeds and dialogue choices. Few are those who always act in the same manner, and our wholesomeness... Sorry, wholeness is the sum of the choices we make and the actions we take. The balance of your actions creates your aura score, which affects the dialogue with other characters. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Dark side heart, yes. 100% true to that. Psy points. Interacting with captives and Psy shrines will award you a Psy points that you can use to unlock psionic powers. Powers can only be unlocked once you have reached the required dark or light inner balance. Ooh, interesting. So, I think this is similar to... I don't know if this is similar to Fable, but it's very similar to other light and dark balance type games where if you don't go all light or all dark you lock yourself out of being able to access certain powers. So if I'm going to stick with a path, I need to truly like, dive deep into that or I lose access to some stuff. <clears throat> um, I would say, kinder, that Hotel is very inconsistent because there's no real tipping norms for a hotel and they can't base their tip off of like percentage of their room or anything like that so no one really has like a 
a conventional norm for how much they should tip for, you know, someone carting luggage at the hotel or um, valet drivers or anything like that. So I would say it would be much more consistent in food service, but also that means you have to do food service. Because uh, the conventional norm for food service is 15 to 20 percent. 15 on the low end, 20 percent kind of average, and then higher for really good service. I personally tip upwards of 20 to 30 percent, if not more, based on my mood and how good they did. I, I've, I've tipped as high as 50 percent before, just for funsies. So, I mean, if you're going purely for money concerns, then you might want to switch to food service, or at least consider it. But also consider your base pay because um, food service base pay is known to be well below um, minimum wage with the expectation that tips are going to put you over that minimum wage mark so depending on how much you're making currently that might be a serious concern because I know that food service has been very contentious as of lately for how little they make and how much is expected to get out of tips. Yeah, servers don't make jack. I've seen I've seen numbers um, from servers as low as like two and three dollars an hour, with the expectation that they're going to get that remainder four to five dollars an hour in tips, just to meet minimum wage of seven fifty or whatever the current minimum wage number is. Which is why people are begging for minimum increase and why people are trying really hard to get um, food service minimum wage fixed. But yeah, if you're if you're thinking of a, of a percentage thing, no, you're not making jack compared to what the hotel is making. But that's to be expected, honestly. Um, and that kind of goes back to you know if they're paying say two hundred bucks a night for a room, even if you make one percent, that's a twenty twenty dollar tip. So it's, it's a significant difference in expectations there. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. Oh man, I'm going to end up going light side because I'll feel bad about not helping everyone. Oh man. Yep, that's, that's honestly, that's pretty normal for food service in USA specifically. Out of USA, hell of a different story. I know, I know I've heard a lot of different foreigners from various countries in Europe talking about how it is completely baffling and dumbfounding that we don't pay our servers and that they're expected to tip when they come visit USA. So, yeah, we're, we're definitely fucked in that regard for sure. 1150 plus tips, that's, that's pretty damn nice. That sucks, Trix. Man, am I am I gonna feel bad about playing this game going dark side? Trix, help! <laughs> we 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 kind of went dark side as the first start, but uh, I'm starting to question that immediately. <laughs> I am immediately starting to question that because every single person who's down on their, on their luck, I'm probably gonna either have to kill or leave to die. And that's going to make me feel bad. Alright, I gotta do it. Quick pull. Quick pull. Lighter dark side. Manage pull. New pull. minute poll we'll do it content oh content does not meet guidelines they don't like me saying fuck okay <laughs> there <laughs> they don't like me saying fuck go figure 
I mean, I, I already see Kinder and Trix going for nice, and I'm also leaning towards nice. I'm assuming the poll is pretty much going to go nice. I probably shouldn't have even bothered with the poll, in all honesty. All right, let's uh, click back over the game, hover over that. I mean, we are technically playing this game with the supposed intention of saving the world. So I would assume that that's the intended path. And that if you went dark side, that you're probably going to get some sort of, like, anti-hero ending or something like that. Now look, at the, now look at the, come here, get the, We shall have kitty time while we wait. Kitty. You also have litter between your toes. Why? <laughs> I saw that on the camera as I was flailing him around. Hi, kitty. You have litter between your toes. I'm gonna have to clean out the litter between both kitty toes. Hi, kitty. Gila. They never have litter between their toes except for today. Hi, kitty. How are you? Alright, I'm gonna check a thing. Um pull. I mean we're we're already we're already well into light side for the vote, so I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna go ahead and uh end that poll. Cause we already know the answer. We already know the answer. Alright, I'll help. I'll help. Jeez, stop giving me the sad puppy dog eyes. Guess how well the code lip He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Still gonna loot your village. Oh, that's a spark of light in you! <laughs> Too much already? That's right. Smack that spark out before it starts. You don't have to be so harsh. It's such a little spark. Take it out now while it's small. Hmm. There's always another spark. Oh. <laughs> so I can do nice things and then immediately say, I don't want that. Alright. <laughs> yes, they should. I should definitely sue because I've got twin figures in my head. Side points! I've gained side point. We'll unlock that in a sec. Wow, camera, chill the fuck out. There's out of date again. Oh, he, must he followed have missed me. something important. Out of date knows you'll make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe. And there's two nearby. Oh ho. Tuluya. Utolula. The, water. the Jagni tribe is likely to be your primary choice as they seek to become omnipresent and most importantly, feared. Mm. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. Okie dokie. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. Ah. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. So, side with the ones who want to save the world. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and huh. shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. Okay. 
Befal. Boyobut. Poi Kaitawa? He believes the tribe Sifus, Jagni especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Hmm. Hmm. All right, lay the question on me. I'm terrible at trivia, by the way. Eva, hi, hi, kitty. He, he's he's laying right at my feet or right behind me, just meowing at me, waiting for me to give him attention. He's just meow, give me attention, meow. <laughs> Six video game protagonists that don't wear pants. I mean, that's actually fairly easy. The first five that come to mind are the four Ninja Turtles and, uh, fuck, well, I can't even remember the rat's name. The rat. <laughs> so that's five right there, because they were all in video games. And then you've got Sonic, who doesn't wear pants. Splinter! Yes, there we go. I kept trying to say Shredder in my head, and I knew that wasn't right. I just couldn't think of the other option. Um, so the the four Ninja Turtles and and Splinter don't wear pants. Sonic doesn't wear pants. So that's six right there. Um, but I know that we've got some that do wear pants, like a Banjo Kazooie. We've got Mario, Luigi, etc. Uh, I'm trying to think like. A variety beyond just four Ninja Turtles. Hi, kitty. Are you going to come up here now? Come on. There you go. Kitty. Hi, kitty. Oh, yep. Spiro doesn't wear pants. Pac-Man, Frogger, Sonic also don't wear pants. Okay, Lara Croft, that's, that's a little bit of... That's a little bit of a technicality because she wears shorts. Technicality. <laughs> All right, so have they engaged? Because I, I'm curious about the Jagni, but in Jagni's case, letting the world eaters bring down the tree of life is part of their plan. They believe a cleansing is the only way the world can be saved. He'll be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Ah, so he's just gonna go chill at the base of the Tree of Life. We can go. We can go talk to him whenever. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the Pride War and the situation with the World Eaters. Okay. Okay. So quest tracking, fair enough. Can do that. Now, also, we have the Myriad and Jagni are the two. So the he kept recommending the Jagni because I'm already Dark Aura, so that's that's a thing. Um, and then Myriad is maximum light. Interesting. Maximum light aura means respect and a true commitment to justice, honor, and compassion. And then Jagni is dark, somewhat, somewhat dark light. Maximum dark is the Lotus tribe. Lack of respect for life in a truly chaotic nature. Okay. So, I'm, I'm thinking, based on this light and dark aspect here, that whichever tribe you align with isn't going to matter as much. Um, that we're probably going to get, like, two endings. Either save the world tree, or let the world tree get fucked. Um, just guessing. Journal. Yup. What I'm looking for is character aura. There we go. We'll get to the mutations menu in a second. Look at my, look at my aura. I'm currently somewhat dark. I have four dark and two light. So if we're going light, I need to I need to negate those darks sooner than later. Oh, interesting. You'll have a separate score as a child, and the choices you make in those dialogues will affect how characters remember you as a child. Interesting. Because um, I'm pretty sure I didn't get any dark aura points as a child, but I don't remember if I got any as a child, so I'm not sure that counts. Interesting. Oh yeah, the Ghosts and Goblins guy who runs around in his boxers, yeah. 
That's also a thing. Alright, let's go to... Uh, 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 nah, 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 nah. Psy points. Where do I go to spend Psy points? So we've got three bio points currently. Um, so I can do Moth Mouth. To use Moth Mouth, M Moth Mouth, I'm not even going to be able to say that. Press the input, uh, da da da. Will infect any small humanoid enemy hit. While infected, they will attack their allies instead of you. Oh, that's kind of neat. So I can turn them to my side temporarily. And we also have Vile Bile. It's random puking on everything. That sounds delightful. Uh, make you spew toxic slush in the direction you're facing, inflicting damage to all enemies. Alright. So that's biogenetics. We also have psi powers. Blaze and blink. Oh, blaze looks fun. Sorry, I'm going to move my face so you can see that. Blaze is a little bit of a zippy fire situation. So it looks kind of like a fireball dodge, basically. And then blink. Um, kind of a teleportation shockwave kind of deal. I can dig that too. Okay. And then these are just upgrade resistance. So biogenetics. So here's the ones we couldn't see before. So there's... That's the mind control fog. It's kind of neat. And the vile bile, which is just hurling on everything. Hmm. Hmm. Now, the moth mouth is... It does say that it only affects small humanoids, so I won't be able to do the big guys. But still, taking an enemy out of battle and then having it work for me is usually a pretty good state of affairs. Um, I don't know which ones to go for currently. Hmm. Blaze and Blink both look pretty good, because they both look like they are fun. The only thing I don't know with Blaze is if I can also take damage from my fire. Because if I can take damage from my fire, then I am suddenly going to make this place a lot harder for myself. Uh, okay, so here's where we can look at light and dark aura to see what we need to unlock things. Freeze is light. Levitate is light. Telekinesis is dark, so pick up dudes and fling them. Great. Uh, key spark. Zappy zappy is light aura. Okay. Sky spark. Oh. Oh, hang on. Look at that. Look at that deep purpley blackness of awesomeness. Okay, just for the effect of that alone, I'm interested in doing a dark character at some point. But for right now, I think we might need to stick with light. Um, okay. Got it. Got it. Fun powers-wise, I think dark has it, has it beat for sure. But let's do blink, fireball. Let's make a decision later, because I don't know what the fuck I want to do. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What will it be? Solid question, sir. Why does it have to be a fork? Why can't I take both paths? So, map-wise, we've got the Jagni up the the um, the bridge. So we've got the Myriad under the tunnel. So we probably should go the tunnel route if I'm trying to go light. They might not want to talk to me, because I'm kind of sort of darkish right now. But I can, I can try to make amends. 
I can try to make amends. I can change, I can change. Sorry, I don't know that whole song, but it's, it always gets stuck in my head. You're also dead. You're also dead. You're dead, but you have loot. Thank you. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. No, I can't break the pots. Okay. That's fair. You're dead. And you're dead. And you're dead. Loot! Go it's way. unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. Wait, hold up. Can we be in the water? Is this, is, is this a problem? Not, not really a problem. Oh, energy while swimming is real bad though. Okay, good to know. Talk to the Jagni or Myriad Stifu. Okay, I can do that. Oh. Oh. Pretty. Oh, hello people. Who's uh who's on what side over here? You guys look evil, so you're probably the bad guys. I, I absolutely came into this fight judging a book by its cover. Just gonna take pot shots at him. Oh, that was a thing. That was an unaffected thing, but it was a thing nonetheless. What's up, gentlemen? Are you are you happy with my help? You guys good? Did I pick the right choice? I'm assuming I picked the right choice. <laughs> Twin kills the guys in black. The other guys are like, thanks for helping. They were trying to save the orphanage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, so we have we have uh, nightfall. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. I'm going to steal all your shit before I go say hi to your people. In fact, let's go see what's this way. Nothing. There's nothing. All right, back to the center. Pretty. Everything 
here is pretty. That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. Please don't shoot me when I come up. Please don't. I would, I would appreciate it. I'm gonna pee on their, their signpost though. It's mine now. I peed Let's on see. it. It's mine. <laughs> I love that that's an option. Just straight up peeing on signposts to mark it as yours. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Does, does that mean I should shoot my way in? Question mark? Hi. How are you? Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Um, thanks for talking to me. Says talking to you was interesting. Um, thanks. Can I come in? Oh, shit. <laughs> Says they're cautious of non allies I want to see. I want to see. I want to see Doom in. He can see you're a free spirit, so he let you in. The Sifu is always interested in meeting someone open to joining their cause. Indeed. I I have an open mind. I am a little bit light, a little bit dark. Hello, everyone. Translation? The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. Yup. Oh. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the world eaters and saving the tree of life is the only way to make the world a better place. All right. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe Sifu. Thanks, hi. Was his name Harvey? He was hoping you'd show up. Harvey. Okay. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. Yes, that's me. Hello, Rita. The wall that separates them from the other side? The wasteland you came from? He guesses the time spent yes, there kinder. just left a blank <laughs> space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. Yes, my brain is empty. Correct. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense your kind hearted. Mm, are you sure about that? The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Mama! What? Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. Oh. Are we going to get all of those things? The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. Sure, Says sounds good. has to be some dark so that light can prove its purity above it, and promises this will happen if you help them unite the tribes, defeat the world eaters, and save the tree of life. Sure, I'm all in. There was a pop up there I didn't read. I hope for you to do that, and is thankful you know what's right. That's a sign of strength. 
It was probably saying something along the lines of, this is the path of light, you can't undo your choice, blah 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 blah, something like that, but I don't know for sure. That Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. Yeah, good luck with that, but how do I do that? The myriad were placed here to fulfill a certain purpose, chosen to unite the tribes and take control of their destiny. The tribes need a firm hand guiding them into the future. I don't know, control and firm hand don't really sound like a path of light to me. Sure you guys are on the good side? Allied with Myriad. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. Um, I wish there was another way. Why can't we all just get along? You need to take the struggle to the enemy, or the enemy will bring it to you. When survival is threatened, there's no other option left but war. Again, doesn't sound like a light path to me. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. Okie dokie. So we have some outpost gathering, got it. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Oh, he's got monkey style with the staff. Even I dig though it. you don't share their values, they hope you lead with mercy. The outcome of this war is up to you. I can do that. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. Well, yeah, let's go about the share land information. All the girls are gonna head not. You were all part of the same tribe once, but without your Muma there as a guide, the disciples turned on each other and formed their own tribes. So I am the chosen one, coming back to take on Mama's legacy and unite the tribes once again. I can do that. Seeing you so much for my tiny little shoulders. Of the old village. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Mm, maybe a little bit. Anyway. The memories you make with your family are strong, and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. Um, old village? What family? Uh, old village. Even though it's now a different place from a different time, it is a place that will make you remember. Alright then. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Uh, yes, Generation Zero did just go on sale, uh, as did the uh, the DLCs. So I picked up the one I was missing. Moon. 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 Okay. So I am now to set out and conquer in the nicest possible way the uh, rival tribe. I must conquer them in the nicest way. So that's, that's an outpost, that's an outpost, and that's an outpost. Um, 
No Man's Sky. I have not done Outer Worlds yet. I've done Outer Wilds, but not Outer Worlds. Save. New slot. Always new slot. Alright, out we go. Hi. How are you? You good? Yeah, you good. Hello, janitor. Are you a nice person? Thinks you shouldn't be out at night, but hey, if you are, that's on you. Okie dokie. Understands you have other places you need to go. Okie dokie. Um, I, I find it interesting the way they chose to do the, the text and narration. Like, it, it all sounds kind of like slash me actions, which is a little bit weird. Uh, small health pack, sure. Why not? Oh, you look fancy with your hat. Thinks it must have been hard to Welcome lose back. your parents. What that did to you as a kid. I'm fine. Says you'll meet again. Okay. I like your hat. It's a stupid hat, but I like it. Uh, I guess we're just outing. It's hard to know if any of these people are worth talking to, because they all seem to be just regular old civilians. I'm going to steal all their shit. Ah, fast car! <laughs> Funny squid man. Thanks for the sub, fast car. Eleven months, by the way. That's pretty damn impressive. I, I greatly appreciate that. Has it been that long already? Oh, weird fruit things. Tell me about the weird fruit things. Happy the tree still looks so good, given the state of the world. Thanks. Has plenty to do, so no worries. Okay, bye. Weird fruit things. I clip through the weird fruit things. I am, I am fruit. I am fruit. I don't have stilts, so I can't really say it properly. You are a fisherman. So, this is out, technically? Hold up. What's this way? This is a this is a place and a location and things. What's in here? Can I go in here? I can go in here. Okay. All right. It's a big ass jail cell. Sure. Okay. Oh. Um, we were given a choice between joining the Myriad Clan, who wants to unite all of the tribes and save the world and save the, uh, the, the Tree of Life, which is obviously the Light Path, uh, or going to join the Dark Path, the Dark Clan, who wants to kill everyone and kill everything and end the world. Uh, no other melee weapons yet. Um, they've kind of hinted that as I conquer the other tribes, I will be given their tribal weapon. So, the tribe that I'm set out to conquer in a moment here is going to be uh, the Monkey King Staff style. So hopefully that'll go well, because I love that style. Um, I guess I could continue looking for loot, but I don't really need to, so bye! Have a beautiful time. Why are you cowering? The gatekeeper welcomes you back to the fort. Uh, talk to later. Bye. Says you'll see each other later. Indeed. Yeah, the the interesting design decisions of the narration and choosing to have everything read off as like a slash me action just sounds it sounds awkward hearing it. Like I'm used to reading it, but Let's I'm not see. used to... I'm not used to... It just... 
sounds really awkward. Okay, um, I don't have a waypoint. I can go back to here, but whatever, it's pointless. I'm gonna go this way. through the little World War II bunkers, and then back through this little archway here, and then... Huh? Hold up. Huh? What, how do I, how do I get down there? How do I, how do I get down there? I mean, obviously, aside from the hard way. I guess there was a path I could have taken? I'm, I'm, I could probably jump down, and probably mostly safely, but I'm curious where this path came from. So it wouldn't have been out through the front, it would have been this way. Okay, so I, I forgot to turn right, okay? It's fine. Come on. Screenshots. I like screenshots. Screenshots are nice. Especially when they have pretty landscape like that. Almost ran off the bridge. Alright, we're going to my childhood village. Alright. What's gonna ambush me on the way? Oh, that's gonna ambush me on the way. Beware, that's a mump up ahead. A wonky mump. Hard by evolution. The wonky ones especially. Deformed and unfurled. Oh, okay. I see how it is. So, how about you hold off and I take a picture of your derpy face for posterity? No, no throwing shit at me. Oh, please reload. Meanwhile, all right, thank you, sir. Nope, no throwing shit at me. Stop it. Please, could, could, could we not? Thanks. Ooh. Action shot. 
Minus one key. Oh, interesting. The screenshot leaves that icon there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting that icon is still there. That's normally something that's removed with the photo mode, but you know, whatever. It's fine. I can I can uh, I can mask that. Yeah, right there, buddy. I'm inspecting his taint for items. Confectionalicious. I I I have gotten his his pink flower from there. You have been inspected, and you are okay. <laughs> oh no, indeed. There, screenshots. Nope. Gotta check the trunk for loot. Ah, I'm, I'm up here now. Drugs! Yes. Always remember, it is important to take random drugs from strangers and or strange locations. Especially in garbage cans, for sure. Um, are those only two loot spots? Perhaps? Looks kind of like it, unless there's stuff up here. No. Okay. I was hoping to get a running screenshot. There we go. It's because it's kind of adorable and it's kind of derpy. It's so derpy. Look at, this, look at this derpy little run. Look at this derpy little run. I mean, kind of, sort of raccoon. I mean, there, there's a whole lot of uh, genetic mutations going on here, so I'm, I'm certainly a something. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. A tingling sensation, you say? Time to pee on the signpost. Perfect. Let's see. Nailed it. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. I am now a tiny person. Yes, that is how you memories mark off your waypoints. Long lost past, Peeing on like it. Whispers in the wind. I am now back to tiny person mode. And village is in one piece. Yeah. It's kind of like a combination of the Assassin's Creed um, climb spots and just like a regular waypoint marker for teleportation. Um, hi, Goop. Here's hi. someone who takes each day as it comes. How, how, how are you, sir? Who's he asks how you are today. No, I asked you first. I am so much better now that you've asked. We're going full light side, by the way. So I'm going to be the perky little, perky little shit that I am. Goop says he always does better whenever he leaves Faya behind. He's happy his good mood is infectious. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake practicing your swimming technique. I would love to. 
Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. Can I learn how to swim now? He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. I, I'd love it. And he'll be honored. <laughs> 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 That's one way to learn how to swim. Just get hucked in full speed. All right. Swimming. You can swim in most waters. While in very deep water, you slowly lose key energy, and when you're out of key, you'll drown. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. The little, little swim, little swim. Don't jump while swimming. That murders your key. Got it. He says, that wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> At least I learned how to not swim. Way to go. Don't let the sound of the waves drown out your spirit. But you need practice. Lots of practice. I'll keep trying. Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. I will certainly try never harder. Try too hard. Judging by your Moomba's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. Sorry, Mom. The dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. Uh, I will say, Fast Car, that you are probably about the only person who will recognize that and be angry by it. Just saying. <laughs> Morning, Bassa. You should know. Practice makes perfect. Um. Yes, you're right, Mom. Morning, Bassa. You have to keep working on it if you want to be good at it. Just gonna keep lecturing me, aren't you, Mom? She'll see you at the village square. Looking forward to it. She says that's good. With a passion for learning, you'll never cease to grow. Okay. So, train with Mama. Are you going to throw me into the water? Can you throw me into the water again? You are very large. Or am I? I am, I am very tiny. Hello, large man. Sploosh. Okay, so I came in that way. Let's talk to this silly looking person. Here's another familiar face with lights on his mind. Gizmo! Fruit, drip, drink, typhoon. Asks how you're feeling today. Um, I am so much better now that I'm talking to you, sir. Being nice comes easy for him. That doesn't make it less important. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. I like scrap. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He thinks you're truly a kidling of your environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Like that thing on your head? Uh, okay, so what am I looking for? The glowing shit on the ground. Got it. Oh, right. I had to actually push buttons. I think I found a thing. He wonders what usefulness you found. I don't know. Some, something good, I'm sure. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Um, I'm gonna go with no, but teach me things. 
That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. Interesting way to do um, learning new mechanics. Uh, to t take you into a flashback of your childhood to teach you how to do things. Interesting method. Crafting intro. Welcome to crafting. Here you can modify existing weapons and armors, or if you're feeling creative, create entirely new weapons from scratch. With the right pieces, you can craft your own weapons. Uh, to start crafting your weapon, first select the base. This defines which kind of weapon you will craft. There are three different kinds of uh, melee weapons. Crush, one-hand slash, or two-hand slash. Uh, did I... I got a one-hand slash. Sure. Uh, to continue crafting a weapon, select the handle slot. Thong Wolf. Alright. Alright. Select the handle you want in order to craft your weapons. I don't think it matters too terribly much. Kind of like that. Feels... Bo Bonana? Oh no. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, tool. Great. Stick. Saw. A pipe wrench. Uh, looks like a, a big old axe handle. Butcher. Rubber grip. Rebar. Mini club. Crank part. Butchers is back again. Interesting. There's there's definitely some repeats, but I don't know what the difference is. So this is a purple butchers. And this is a purple butcher. This is a slightly different purple butcher. So that's a lousy. This is a Rick Rack 3. Material rock coated. Sure. Rick Rack 3. And this one is Rick Rack 3. I'm failing to understand the differences. Because we've got another butcher here that's Rick Rack 3. That's 810. 810 leafy things. And then we have another butcher down here that's 960 leafy things. I am solidly confused. Very much so. Also, I don't know what the bips the material are. Like the bit material, the rock coated material. Most of them look to be rock coated material, but I'm the bone was apparently bip and the wrap wrench is bip. <laughs> words words are happening. Alright, well, let's go with this butcher, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. That one. Craft your weapon, press X. Sure. I did the thing. I did the thing. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. I wanted something cutting edge. He appreciates those able to deliver a sharp remark. Ha ha! Words. He understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. I will ask to be taught. He thinks mastering the six weapon styles of Wang Fu is more than enough for anyone. Are you saying you don't like my weapon? Is my weapon not good enough for you, sir? He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Okay. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. She's getting angry. 
You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Sorry, I was helping people. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. I'm glad you approve. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. Well, that's a little morbid. She won't live forever, you know that. But she intends to make the most of every day she gets, especially the ones you share together. Uh, it is interesting that they, they made Mama, Mama Rat the same color pattern and roughly the same face everything as me. I like it. I'm, I'm assuming they would have done that for any of the others that I picked. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Okay, I'll follow. Then start by meeting her on the village square and take it from there. She knows you're a free spirit, always on the move, like the wind. I will be there as soon as I'm done helping literally everyone else in the village, I promise. Ah, uh, including going to check out this house. That I'm not... I could fit through that tiny little crack. Okay, fine. 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 Uh, also, can I... I cannot do my settings and stuff. I can't change anything here. Okay, got it. Hello, tiny people. Are you here to be the bullies? They look determined. Better watch out. You look like you're the bullies. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. Nuh-uh. That makes him wonder why you were here looking for it. I wasn't... I wasn't? There's no way they'll let you pass. Meanies. He wants to know who you think you are. Why are you being dicks? They push each other to become better, and sometimes someone gets pushed down along the way. That's not nice. Ooh. I will end all of you. Ooh. Fuck off. Okay, that's fine. Howie. I think I was destined to lose that. Oh, arrow. Hi. <laughs> He's gonna steal my new toy. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? Dear meanies. Um... Wow, we could go like full on light side. We should invite them to train. She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can get. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. Okay. She said it before. Wang Fu will keep your body in good health, and that's how you keep your mind strong and clear. Hey, I'm no longer dying. Hooray. Okay. Totally not following Mama again. Okay, fine. Fine, fine.
Apparently I'm uh, too tiny to actually open any doors in this place. Oh, that button. Uh, that button. This place is rather large for such a tiny, tiny little person. Look at that tiny person. He's so itty bitty. Here's someone close to heart, doing what he does best. Are you dear old papa? Seeing you always puts a smile on your popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. I feel useful. I helped people and got my ass kicked. You helped Gizmo clean up. He's proud of you. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. <laughs> if you tell mom, because I'm not going to tell her. He'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. Sigh. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. Okay. I can do that. I'm gonna get in trouble with mom, but that's okay. Mom, don't yell at me. I'm helping dad. He's curious to see what you found. Some is cool. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bionucleus pool and refresh his DNA. That's um that's a mouthful to consider as an option. He's considering making a trip out into the wilds to look for a bionucleus pool to refresh his DNA. Apparently that's a thing that we just know how to do. He can work wonders with pretty much anything, and asks if you know how to upcycle. Let's find out. Says at least dirty hands are proof that you tried, and that counts. That you failed this time doesn't mean you can't succeed the next. Why are you assuming I'm going to fail right away? That's not nice. He says it's about time you learned how, and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. Sure. Gear crafting. When looting, you'll find add-ons. These can be crafted into an item to increase the stats of the item. Uh, to upgrade armor and cloth, uh, clothing items, or to upgrade armor and clothing with items, select a slot and add on. Press X. Add on. Give me a sleeve. Sh sure. I did a thing apparently. <laughs> The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. I want Mama to be proud. Wow. He knows she's already proud of you and everything you've achieved so far. You should take it with you, wear it to practice. Yes. She's gonna yell at me. He thinks you should. But it's okay. She'll be proud of you. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Okie dokie. Let's go talk to Mama before she spanks me or something. Oh, pretty. Oh, big guy. Hi, big guy. You're, you're a big dude. Mama practicing. Can't get a good angle. Okay, fine. We'll uh, capture her practicing like so. Okay. My mama, don't kill me. Please. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. I am very easily distracted, but I know it's one of my failings and I will work hard to correct it. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. 
She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. Very. It's in But there's enough time left for repetition, and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. Okay, let's do it. Wants you to prove that with some practice first. Yes. Tiny child makes a tiny little dent. <laughs> I did good. Your Luma says right. you did well today. So, so incredibly tiny. Thanks, Mom. Thanks you for being such a good student. I mean, literally everything around me is just just massive compared to me. Been working on a present for you with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. How thoughtful. Says he's always thought so well of you, just like her. Big skooma smoking panda. You're a big dude. I don't even come up to your friggin' ankles. So big. Hang on, let's uh. <laughs> so big. Let's, uh, let's get a higher up view of that. Um, I am not very familiar. In fact, I'm not familiar at all with Fantastic Mr. Fox. But yeah, there's a little bit of Kung Fu Panda in this. Um, there's also some elements from... Pine, which is a game that I played, um, post-apocalyptic, um, animal tribes ruling the place, and person attempting to unite the tribes. Very similar in theme, in theme there. But also um, a lot of similar technology elements to Horizon Zero Dawn. Why are you so big? Why are you so freaking big? Why am I so freaking tiny? Alright, so I need to go talk to my little robot cricket. Robot grasshopper. Come here. Come here. Hey. Nope, come here. Come back. Catchy. Hola. Your Mooma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. It must have been fantastic to make. She's happy you appreciate what others do for you. A piece of scraptronics like this has built-in old world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. That's neat. You're lucky to have such a fine helper with you. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. But it's been a great day. She's so happy you made the most of it. Rest, and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Oh, hello, large person. Nothing could stop Luka Luka from setting the world on fire. That's not very nice. Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. Oh, okay. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. Well, don't set me on fire then. 
Yay. That's just adding fuel to the flames. That one's gonna fall on me too. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Muma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Why? He wants to destroy her. The time to fight is coming, whether she's ready for it or not. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. Yeah, this one stayed pretty solidly under the radar. Um, there, there was a little bit of fervor about it when it first kind of got announced back in the 2018-ish. Um, but after that, it just kind of just stayed silently in development for three-ish more years. No one's ever really mentioned it. It didn't really even start coming back up on people's radar until the last month or so when its when its release date finally was close at hand. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. No. -uh. She loves how brave you are, but she can't be worrying about you while she fights. This is her fight. Okay. Here it comes. The past coming to hold the present. Oh. Rawr. Yay. I'm not supposed to help Mama. I'm not supposed to help. I am, however, gonna take pictures. Also, while we're looking at pictures. So, Fantastic Mr. Fox was a Wes Anderson stop-motion animated movie with George Clooney as a fox who is taking younger children with him to try to steal food from humans. Okay. See, I think I've seen pictures of that, but I think that's the most I've seen. And I certainly haven't seen all those characters, so I think I've seen, like, Mr. Fox, and that's about it. Um, but yeah, no, no clue. Never heard of it. Never heard anything important about it, at least. Oh, punt. Jesus. I'm not supposed to help. I understand I'm not supposed to help. No stompy. Yes, I am I am being a good boy and staying out of the way and taking pictures of everything. Hunt is great. Nah. Any good action shot? Are you just gonna limp away, sir? There we go. There's an action shot right there. Going back for another charge and crush back. A little bit of stompy and a lot. Yeah, that's what I was aiming for. Just, just a straight up, full booted punt. <laughs> Document everything and stay the fuck out of his way. I'm probably supposed to interfere at this point, but 
I'm trying to go full light side, and I was pretty sure that doing what Mama says is the right answer. <laughs> are, are you just going to sit there and watch, kid? <laughs> hey, Grasshopper. You going to do anything? Oh my god, Grasshopper is so big. At least compared to how tiny I am now. Swooshy fire action going on there. I kind of dig it. Hard to get a shot from her point of view because she's so friggin' tiny, but... He's gonna punt. A little bit of a punt there. A little bit of a stamp. Just a straight up smoosh. Headbutt him? She just headbutted him. Like, straight up headbutted him, and he's like, ow, it hurt. Nope, I'm not gonna help. I was told not to help. Punt. Oh, he's all back to full health again. Well, that's not cool. Alright, so... Um, so, next time he does the fire, point of view from the bad guy. Unfortunately, she's not in the fire this time. Uh, but also, I, I can't easily get a point of view from the bad guy, because the camera... Oh, it wouldn't let me go through him before, but now I can go through him. Fire. So am I supposed to help? Because, I mean, he got back up to full again. Punt. Fire swoosh. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not involved in this. Leave me alone. I'm pretty sure he started with three bars. So I'm pretty sure he upped back up to three bars. Fun. Charge. He's really not nice. He's not a nice dude. So he's down to three, or two and a half. Just trying to keep an eye on that. And he's down, resting or something. And this is where I thought he re regenerated himself. Uh, definitely does depend on the thing, absolutely. And he's back up to full again. Okay, so am I supposed to be helping? Is that what's going on here? 
I'm a good boy and I was told to stay away, so I'm staying away, but it doesn't look like me staying away is the right answer. Fine, sir. Poke, poke, poke. Actually, do I not have my weapon equipped? Oh, no, wait, they stole my weapon. That's right. Poke, poke, poke. Heh <laughs> heh. They poked you. Nope. Nope. Go through fire uh -oh. and water to make it out of here. Uh oh, uh oh, Whee! Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. So follow Muma. I'm following the Muma. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Go with the flow. Got it. Uh-oh. He's coming! Mama, hurry! Mama, hurry! Also... What? Oh. Yeah, that acronym would have never caught on to me. Oh, hi. I did not notice what was going on. I probably just died there and failed. Let's try that again. Now that I'm actually going to pay attention. If you're asking for my opinion on an undisclosed thing on spending money, my first gut reaction is no, based on the things that you tend to spend a whole bunch of money on. Just, dude, stop. <laughs> stop. Alright, dude man's gonna be coming... there. That was not me pushing the right button. Mama, let's try this again. <laughs> You're not my mom. <laughs> well, she's apparently not my mom anymore either. Well, Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. Dang it. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry uh -oh. for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. Mama, no. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. Oh, bouncing the on my face. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. Sweet baby Jesus fast car. <laughs> As the moment Holy fades and is lost, good Lord. the only thing that remains is the moment. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. <laughs> Fast car. Holy crap. Thank you. Holy crap.
A hundred friggin' gift subs sent out to the community. Holy crap, fast car. Holy crap on a cracker. That That is awesome. Thank you very much. Looking around for a moment to see if I have a kitty to throw at you. <laughs> and I'm hoping that that's not going to go on for the next, like, hour. <laughs> uh, not entirely sure I have a way to stop that from happening. <laughs> Hang on, we'll let that go for a second and see if I can find a kitty to throw at you. I found a kitty. Another dangly sleepy kitty. 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 Yes, thank you, thank you very much, Fastcar. I, I, I definitely appreciate it. Rest, sleep, kitty. Rest and sleep. Be good, kitty. That's gonna, that's gonna go on for quite some time, isn't it? <laughs> Oh hey, level up. We can we can do level up while we wait for stuff to happen. Uh let's go with that agility then for move speed. <laughs> this this is my life now. This this is this is just the way it is. Yeah, let's Nothing go with that agility. Slow you down. Super speed. Okay, so I have an upgrade point. I have three bio points and I have a psi point. Let's check out that upgrade point. Maneuvers? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I can't actually do anything about those. Okay. Basic rate. I can't do anything about those either. Basic melee. I can't do anything about those either. Dual wield guns is a thing, apparently. So I might save upgrade points for when I have sordides and stuff. Unless I'm going to stick with unarmed this whole time. Yeah, we'll, we'll save some points. There it is. It, it felt like it was a little bit too long between them. But I didn't trust it. Yep, this is my life now. Um, I could... Potentially, I think there's an option to pause or turn those off if, if they've gone a little bit haywire. But uh, I'll leave that up to, up to you, Fastcar. If you want that to keep happening, we can keep that happening. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to argue with you on that one. <laughs> uh, another world gets a clearing. So I'm supposed to be going for... Forward? Are we adult person now? Do I have all my gadgets and I do have all my gadgets and gizmos. <laughs> Deal with it, not JPEG. Okay. We got a lovely bamboo forest going on here. What's with that poster? What's with that poster? Uh. All right. Random pop-up saying, hey, by the way, crafty, crafty. Crafty, crafty. 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 Face. Inventory. Craft. 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 Face. Torso. 
So currently I can modify my existing. Or, you know, not. That's fine too. Craft new melee. Head. No items. Shoulder. No items. So I can only craft slots for things I already have. Fascinating. Fun, 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 fun. Yeah, the, the teaching via flashback is neat. Um, it's a little bit awkward in that they start you off as a pers uh, uh, an adult person, and then you don't know how to do things as an adult person, but then you have to flashback to learn how to do things. But they've covered that slightly with the memory default, so um, and, and I think that still counts. Um, add add-on. No add-on. No add-on. Okay. Well, it tells me that I have to craft, but then I don't have the option to do any crafting. Feels I... good on you? Y yeah. Yes? Question mark? Um, let's go back to craft, because uh, main hand. I had the option to craft a new melee. I don't have the option to craft a new melee. Okay, so what, what exactly can I do right now? Because they told me specifically, go craft. And I am here to craft. And I haven't been able to craft anything yet. I can't modify. I don't know. I have no idea. I, I, can, I can feel it. I can feel it indeed. Hi, boys. How are you doing? <laughs> I have I have both cats just staring at each other on the floor behind me. And it's probably gonna result in hissy fit at some point soon here. Inventory tools. I have my broad net. And I have my old world claw bar. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to catch things with the net at some point. That's a noise. Oh, there's a there's a thing happening over here. Hang on. What's what's uh, what's going on over here, fellas? What's going on over here? That's fair, etc. Uh, as an adult person, I also don't remember how to do everything. So I, I guess that that makes sense. So we have radium syrup. We have some sort of cute cat bunny figure thing. Also a different cute cat bunny figure thing. Then we have probably a bowl of noodles? Can't quite tell. Pink and blue. Blue noodles doesn't sound right, but whatever. Alright, so what's uh what's heading on over here? Guys, what are you what are you, what are you doing? The tribes caught a fluffy hulk. Better watch out, it's no pet. A fluffy hulk, you say? Let's get a better look at they just they just dropped the ropes. It's gonna get up in like a half a second here. Hello, Fluffy Hulk, how are you? They couldn't keep it down. Yeah. Fluff Hulk's on the loose. Fluff Hulk's on the loose. No, why why are you going after me? What what's what's your deal? Ooh, I'm over here now. Ow. I'm inside of it now. That's disturbing.
I'm pretty sure I dodged that, but I don't know. Ow. That did not dodge that. Owie. I was doing better staying the fuck away from me. Not nice, stop it. Oh. Oh, it's got big old claws. Oh dear lord. Okay. Jesus. Okay, well that's a thing. That just happened. <laughs> yep, oh indeed. It died. Technically my first death, I believe. Right, the lizard. Why was it not taking damage from that? Yipe! That's scary. fluffy thing. This is not a world leader. That was a Hulk. Fluff Hulk. Sorry. They've received news a Ronin had strengthened their ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. Hey, Kyder, there's yours. A group of myriad crusaders already headed out to Jagni's Mercadorpus outpost and are waiting for you there. You should hurry there and help them best the outpost. Uh, can we do it? You complete them. From this point on, the myriad is unbroken. Yeah, that part's a little bit awkward, where they do their gibberish and then, and then he explains um it they could have done subtitles or i don't know I, I don't know how else they could have done it any better better not keep the crusaders okay fine okay fine uh can i loot it no but i can walk inside of it i am now the fluffy hulk I am now the Fluffy Hulk. I mean, more voice acting could have definitely been done. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm going down the hole with the weird, creepy, blob, horned creature thing. Sure. So are they questing me towards uh, taking out one of these thingies? I think the answer is yes. Because the war party is at the place where we're supposed to take down. So I think the answer is yes. An emergency box from the old days when you needed to pack a punch to survive. Is that a power glove? Are we gonna get a power glove? Wow, bet that nut makes a tight fist. Oh. Old world clonk fist. You found the clonk fist. This powerful tool can be used to punch through wall. Oh. Punch through walls. So it's not a combat tool. Wait. I stand corrected. It can be even used as a weapon. You found a new weapon. Hells yes. The Bonk Fist. Indeed. Damage 300 to 350. Bonk Fist. <laughs> Just straight up Bonky Fist. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Yes. Hit an enemy with a special attack fills one of the Super Wung Fu icons to the left of your character. When your icons are filled, you can activate the Super Wung Fu state. You need to use a different special attack to fill the next icon. Okay. Okay. So, if I do this button, I can do Old World Clonk Fist or the Spark Gloves. Look at that power difference. Literally double my current damage. More than double my current damage. Alright, we're gonna stick with the Bonk Fist. The Bonk Fist! To use the bong fish to smash through walls, you need to have it equipped. Then hold and release. Hold and release X. Okay. Ho 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 Bonk fist indeed. Hells yeah. Yeah, it was weapon switching. I got it. I know how to, I know how to weapon switch. I actually did it multiple times. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? No. No, I cannot. Blorb. It just blorbed at me. Imagine being stuck in the woods forever time. Bonk face. Oh, right. They have been they have been thoroughly bonked. I like the bonk fist. It's a little bit slower on the uptake, but I like it. Aha! We can raccoon into the trash cans. Woo! I got a backpack. I got a backpack. Can I can I wear the backpack? Uh, 
gear. Shoulder. Shoulder. Back. That's for someone a little bit more advanced. The backpack is too good for me. Understood. Understood. Okay. Got a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Trash cans. Is that just back down in the same place? Yeah, okay. New side quest, Bricktown, you say? That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old toxinol brick towns. Pay attention. Bad kinder, thanks for hanging out. Have yourself a good night. The Toxinol Corporation made this place, and then just threw it away when they were done with it. That seems like a waste. Toxinol never cared about the waste, as long as they didn't have to pay to clean it up. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. Just hope it's not buried. Woo! Hi, Valona. I have found a signboard. I'm assuming I'm still looking for sideboards in this town. So this is an old brick town, and this is a side questy thing. And we can go to Journal, Bricktown. Uh, Track Quest. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we just look around here for stuff. Oh yeah, we got a pee on the signpost. Let's see. Signpost has been peed. I like the little kitty thing. Mau mau. Mau mau. Okay, what am I looking for? What am I what am I looking for? I think the alerts have finally stopped. I have absolutely no idea if that was all 100 of them. But thank you again, Fascar. Now that it's now that it's finally done. You found the track. Amazing it wasn't destroyed. What did I find? What is what did I find? So much of this place was just discarded. Lucky the track somehow made it. Was it ever nice? No, it was never <laughs> nice. No. It was new once, but that's not nearly the same thing. Just being new never lasts. Yes, Sparkle. Hello, Sparkle. The tracks moved on from Bricktown, and you should too. What, what tracks are we talking about? Side quest completed the Automaton 4C. But what did I find? Where are these tracks? Punch the vending machine to get an SP jump. Or is that a SP jump? It's a SP jump. Cargo fast. Let's pocket that. Oh, I got the superb loot from Bricktown. Nice. This story needs a hero. Pocket change! I got a thwang. <laughs> I got a thwang. Alright, it's a thwang. It's a bit crushed. I have been crushed with support. 
a fry sparker from the back in time. Hardware that fix cooked provisions. Try it out, see if it still works. Looks like the fry sparker's knobs need to be in sync if you want to get the hardware working. Okay, how do? How, how, how do? I did the thing! What just got microwaved? Do I even want to know what's gonna come out it's of this a fry thing? Spark a mindset. Boom! You got something! It's not exactly what you wanted, but you got it right away. I... Sure? I got a, I got a wool hop. Um... High level. Well out of my reach currently. It is a rifle component? Or is it just a rifle? It's just straight up a rifle. Okay, that's a thing. Sure, why not? I, I must hydrate. Also, I must fix back. And in trying... <laughs> why are you trying this game? Why are you trying this game? Why are you escaping? <laughs> Why are you escaping? He's escaping me. Hi, kitty. Come here. Kitty. <laughs> My headset pulled me back. Okay, so I failed at grabbing kitty. He thinks I want to play, so he's running away from me. Oh. Oh. Apparently I needed that. Ow. Hi, Gizmo. What are you doing? <laughs> He's looking at me like, why didn't you chase me? What the hell? Come here. You're fine. Be that way. Be that way. So I have I have no idea what this is. I think it's a rifled material. But I'm not positive, because it looks very much like it's just a regular rifle based on the stats. I'm confused, but I'll take it. And thank you, Microwave, for containing a rifle. Somehow. Well, I appreciate it. I got another rifle part. It's a tajub. Um, I got a fret. Looks kind of like crossbow arms. Neat. Neato. Nifty. Heck yes, garbage bin guns. Such a bright day to wander around in. That's pretty. That's, that's pretty right there. Thing back here. Got more pretty back there. So I'm still looking for stuff. And I don't know exactly what stuff I'm looking for. Or how to get said stuff. Because um, if I go into map, I need to go... I guess to find notice boards, but I'm currently in Bricktown. And it's an area objective, so I need to find more stuff. And I need to find two more old world gadgets. So I see... Oh, that's just the, uh, the waypoint marker. Okay. Um, do I... How big is this place? Like, where, where should I stop looking? There are a lot of flat surfaces, but that's that's okay. It's meant to be a concrete jungle. I got a hat. I 
I got a hat. Snazzy hatter. <laughs> I got a hat. <laughs> it's a stupid hat, and it's great. See, I, I think you're looking at it purely from a realistic perspective. I'm looking at it from a stylistic perspective, and I don't feel like these need to be all that much much more depth or detail. I'm, I'm liking the style of this. I, I do think the fur the is in a not way nothing good. Else can. But I'm okay looking past that. Um, hi. Why am I fighting skeletons? Why is skeleton? Why is skeletons a thing? Hang on. Can I? Can I? Yes. Super Wong Fu! You are ready to activate your Super Wong Fu. To activate it, press those buttons. With Super Wong Fu active, you'll perform different, more powerful attacks. Super Wong Fu is powerful, but will only be active for a limited amount of time. I am going to punch the ever-loving fuck out of that skeleton. Oh, he got, he got punched the that away. Oh, I... Okay, so I probably didn't use that effectively, but still, it was fun. No loot, no loot. So I notice I am no longer in Bricktown. So I must have wandered out when I, when I came out into here. So, Bricktown. Eh? I got a thing. I got a shoulder pad. Neat. Can I put it on? Um, I haven't played Dying Light, actually. I can put on a shoulder pad. Don't get to wander below ground like this every day. I got a different hat. Hold on. Uh, I need I need light. Is this is this good enough light? Yeah. Different hat. Oh, that's also different. Also different. So this one has energy regen. This one has key energy, and this one has crit chance, health, key energy, and energy regen. I feel like this one is probably the best one to put on my head. You look ready. I look like a basket case. Oh, I mean, I'm out here now. Okay. Um. So I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what all I've found. And I don't know how to track it. Because um, we got tracked quests, which is fine. 
but how do I track the area objectives? Because that only seems to pop up occasionally. I know I've been in here. I know I went that away. I am moderately sure I have not been in here, apparently. Thought I was, but whatever. I got an add on. Great. I feel like I could definitely get lost exploring and looting all of the things. Like that that feels like a thing I probably will do. So this is where we initially came out of the subway. crack open doors. This is energy pack. Uh, the map, it's, it could probably use some better function. I mean, it's, it would be nice if mousing over an area like Bricktown would give me information like how much is left to find there, that kind of stuff. Um, otherwise, it looks like they took like an, just an overhead camera and had it zoom in on everything. Which is fine. In fact, I probably could use that. Gotta check the cushions. It's a hat. It's not a great hat, but it's a hat. It's another hat. Also, not a great hat. Okay, um, I want to go this way? No, I want to go this way. Uh, I came from there. I've been through some of this direction. I went through here. Did I go in here? I did go in there. And that was the other side of the same building, so I know I went there. What is that? Is that my signpost? Listen to the creatures of the night. A flush stool from the back in time. It's an apparatus that sink sucks yellow juice and brown bobs. Let's try out the brush away. See if you can off chase some drip droppings. That was a, a lot more random words than they had been using before. But uh yep, let's let's go Seems twing twang like the thing majig. On the piping need to be unturned correctly to drain the flush stool. <laughs> Nope, that way. And then just a few moves left. Make them go. There we go. I'm flushing the toilet. That's the kind of trouble you really want to wash away. I found toilet drugs. I'm going to take them. I also got a short sleeve shirt from the toilet that I'm 100% going to take and wear. <laughs> oh, can we... Can we go smash? No, okay. That's not a smash door. So 
So I did come in here. I was in here before. But I got confused. Yeah. Probably didn't go the right direction. Oh well, it's fine. Okay, so I know I have not found everything in Bricktown. Or at least I think I haven't found everything in Bricktown. I am no longer getting the pop-up when I'm looking at it to tell me that I have found everything or not. So, it's like if I mouse over it doesn't tell me anymore that I've completed all the objectives here or whatever. So I'm going to assume that I have and go to this thing. That thing. How do I go to that thing? Probably with this thing. Hey kid, put away your glove. Thanks. It's flashing me. I do like a pretty glowy moon though. You found the whereabouts. The deepest, darkest forest in the land. Sometimes hard to see for all the trees. Sorry, I have things to punch. Hold on. Punched. Bacon up. Oh, his gun went flying. He'll be fine, right? He'll be fine. You're welcome, gentlemen. Alright, so I was going this way to look at the thingy. With the stuff and the things. We got train tracks here, which is great. There are things out there waiting for you. Things, you say? I like things. Um, the frick frack was that? I'm not entirely sure what that was. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board. But Gizmo is holed up in the underyard here, working on that Necton of his. Really? I thought Gizmo was a lot further away. The Toxinol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here. Big machines on rails with smokestacks that fouled the air. People rode on those? The rails used to be filled with chugs packed tight with two leggeds, like guppos in a tin. You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open. On the right track, you say? Hmm. Alright, chug yard. Follow the trail. Totally side questing the hell out of this right now. Whoa, fire. Oh, hello. He has a big old bomb on his arm. I'm pretty sure that that's a bad thing. That's very much probably a bad thing. Hmm. I see. Hang on. I haven't saved in a while. 
that I haven't saved since level 2. I'm level 5 now. Right then. Probably should do some level up. Um, so let's do... I mean, I've been doing a lot of melee, so I probably should up my strength. Getting swole. Getting swole, indeed. Uh, and let's do... A lot. That's an improvement. Because I like crit chance. And then I've got points to spend. I'll spend points later. And then I'm just going to go ahead and save that because... Because they did stuff. Okay. Let's go, um... Punch the dude with the bomb. That was the thing that just happened. Tribes always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. But they should have stopped their duty instead of playing around with sprockets. Bomber bonkers busy ram banging the door. This is your chance. than a flesh wound. So, previously it let me do a quick heal by just tapping up. But now it doesn't want me to do that. And it wants me to instead to select one. Ready to take on the world. Cut that one in half. I don't know what's going on. I'm lost. You're fresh out of key energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're bruised. Ah, uh, sure. I'm on medium difficulty. It's all right. I mean, I'm not. I'm not one for needing overly difficult games, so I think this is all right. Oh, that one's not explodable. All right, I'm gonna go pee on your signpost here. Let's see. All right, I peed on their signpost. Is that a? Oh, that's that that's Gizmo, dude. Okay. See, I thought they said that Gizmo was all the way over here, but apparently he's over here, working on stuff. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's a uh, definitely a nice open world, adventurey game. Love the theme. 
Love the visuals. I'm digging it. Alright, so... Gizmo's over there. I'm gonna go explore a little bit more of this away first. This box once tailed a chugga chugga. Now it's just off track. Oh, it. No, okay. Ah, uh, so I think that's just gonna lead out again, so let's go this way. Open! Hello, Control friend! Control your destiny, or someone else will. Hello, friend. Oi. Why'd you do that, meanie? Uh, 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 uh. Yes, you can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Um. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. That's one way to open a door. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta check to see if there's anything else in here. Looks kinda like a no. See, I saw that bomb, and I saw that its fuse was lit, and I'm like, I should interact with that to put that fuse out before it explodes. No! No, the answer was, I'm going to ride it to wherever it's going. Sure. Sure. That sounds like fun. Oh, that's a thing. Bioblob container. You found a biocontaminated container. Contact the bioblobs and use these to unlock mutations in the menus. Sweet. I'm gonna suck on the green goo. Because that's uh, pretty much one of the main purposes of this game. Sucking on the green goo. Awful. Watch your step around here. I was watching my step. I put my feet exactly where I wanted to. In the green goo. Okay, uh, so the gate. Anything else in here? Does not look to be. Okay. Through the hole. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. So are we on the main quest? No, we're on a different main quest. So this is the Chug Yard as a main quest. And this is the other one where we gotta go to the Tribe War thing. So I guess it kind of stumbled into a main quest? Fate sure. Is funny that way, but it won't always make you laugh. Button push. The spent nuclear fuel the toxinol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. Great. Sounds delightful. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Yep, my bad. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. 
He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Yep. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. Aww. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. Hmm. I remember. He hopes you remember that one time he taught you to upcycle and hopes you've had some use for it over the years. Not yet, technically. Gizmo says he also has re memories from the long gone, but unlike you, he doesn't think of the past, for it's gone. He understands history made loop a loop in a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. Hmm. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Hmm. Well, we are going the light path, so I'm ready to forgive. Never mind the fact that he killed both Gizmo mom and pops. Encourages that. You should forgive, but and never forget. Destroy the world. Provide some comfort to your soul. But whatever. Keep the memory of lost loved ones in your heart. Fan that flame. <laughs> Fan that flame. Looking for some shade. Long gone. Wait, no! Uh, bright light blinds! It's, it's dangerous! I've got all the cold sick burns you need, Dark. Oh, do you have to insult me over this? I don't have to, but I want to! <laughs> That's not a very light thing to do. Would like to know if you ever doubt the choices you made on the path that brought you to this point. Would you have been happier going in a different direction? No regrets. I did the best I could, though. Supposes that's all any of us can do. Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. Understands why you're bent on finishing the world off. Supposes it's a mercy to make it faster. What? I'm not bent on finishing the world off. What the fuck are you talking about? I specifically chose the save the world option. I liked working with the myriad. They always seem so centered and so seeking. <laughs> They're mostly stable. Mostly. Thinks that's more than most are. It's hard to keep to a path like that. But that's not important now. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present. And where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the dead zone. Vacuum so in the dead zone? So need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mekton, starting with the old crate outside. Okay. Vacuum in the dead zone, you say? Okay. Why, why, not dark. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mekton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Buff. So, th this this piece right here I have an issue with, and that's only because a lot of games do this. And I want to be able to ask all of these questions. I want to find out more info about the, jum the Jumbo Puff, the Dead Zone, and also ask about being strong enough. But this game and many others kind of forces you to pick one and you never go back. You can never get that information again. Um, so it always feels like I'm missing out on some information. Um, not all games do that. Like, we've got, like, um... 
I think Skyrim lets you pick through the multiple different dialogue options, that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, a, a lot of games just make you kind of skip dialogue. You pick one, whichever one you're the most interested in learning about, and that's it. You're never going to get more. Um, I think part of that is to encourage replayability, but it's always bothered me. Um, tell me about this whole dead zone vacuum situation. It's the part of the land that suffered most from the apocalypse. It's deprived of oxygen, making it next to impossible for anything but creatures that were most contorted by the contamination. Ah, so I have to become extra biomutant to be able to survive. Got it. Strong salvage. I am strong. I would think space, but they also just said it's just part of the world that's been contaminated, so not space? Unless blasted a hole through the world. That's possible, I suppose. Oh. Oh. How many days like this do you think the world has left? Oh. Neat. Hello, under there. Yeah, we got a mech. It's a mech. Hello, big guy. I think we're going to be piloting that at some point. <laughs> and then there's my dude's derpy face. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, so I'm supposed to find salvage. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Push the button. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. I think that was an easy one specifically for those low intel characters who still need to be able to get through. Um, okay, so... I need to find a way into the ruins. That's going that way. Got it. Now, this is going down the path of helping Gizmo fix up his mech to fight one of the World Eaters, which is right there. Um, it has not led me down the path of the tribal war that I need to deal with. So that's a thing. Uh, that's generally it. So, the the Twinticles are Twitch's overall token viewer currency situation, and most streamers have their setup to do stuff. Usually either interrupt the stream or make us do stuff or whatever. Um, I haven't been able to think of any, like, automation to do for, like, playing sounds or whatever. But I'm always open for ideas. But yeah, like the default Twitch's recommendations are like Fine, hydrate and stuff like that. The outside. It's pretty. It's pretty. So should I carry on with following Gizmo's thing? Or should I... They're short of breath and death to this zone. Ah. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. Ah. Right. Oxygen ping dish. Hazard zone. You've discovered a hazard zone. These zones are vast areas covered in deadly hazards. You can only withstand the hazard for so long before it kills you, so be careful. Hazards come in several types. Biocontaminated, cryogenic, incendiary, radioactive, and the oxygen-deprived dead zone. Your gear and the resistance you choose... Uh, during character creation, determine how long you can survive in the hazard zones and how much damage you take from the hazard weapons. With a resistance of 100, uh, you, you can resist 100% of that damage. Okay, so I am in the hypoxia zone, and I'm gonna die. So I'm gonna not do that, perhaps. 
And that pretty much answers my question about Gizmo. However, I'm curious what's going to lead me this way. That's the leftover you're looking for. Nope. Okay. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Yep, so I'm not going that way. No, can I not go this way? I can't go this way. Um... I think it was this way, yeah. So that means that I pretty much have to go the route of the tribal fight. Cause I can't I can't do this until figure out the oxygen situation. So let's track that one instead. Could also potentially go with the side quests of finding the notice boards, but we'll do those in a bit. I feel like I'm very much going to miss some stuff here. Because as per standard open-worldness, there's probably a lot of hidden junk. Oh, hey, these guys again. Here, let's, uh... Let's help them out with this weapon this time. Where's my dude going? Why are you not going towards the enemy? Ouch. Things are happening. It's not just anyone that's away from moving. my face. He got pizzabbied. He fell over. Okay, I think I got all of their stuffs. Alright, we're going on this way. That's a Jagney tribe outpost. Indeed, Jagney tribe outpost. So I think, according to map, I'm supposed to go. Ah, okay, so we go up the road, and then they're camped out right up on the hill next to the outpost. Got it. Let's go do that. Uh, so let's do that. And also... Pushing the right buttons, hopefully. Uh, let's do a craft. Oh, not not the right level. That's why it doesn't show up. Okay. Legs. I didn't get any more pants. 
main hand. Uh, so I cannot modify the tool fist glove thing. Okay. Uh, the one thing that I am confused about is how do I craft a new gun? Because I got those rifle parts. So how do I craft a new gun? Wow, that's an interesting hat. Uh, I can scrap these, but it also looks like I could potentially sell them, assuming those leaf icons are a currency. Uh, so that might be worth considering at some point. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, crafting is not going to happen. I thought there was going to be a way to craft something like that rifle. What are you? You look like a thing. You are not a thing I can interact with. I'm assuming you're a later thing. Once I get a tool for whatever that is. What are you? That's a resource totem. A monument left behind by those that picked scrap, trying to keep the area clean. So I can have it? You found a scrap totem. Bash it with your weapon to gather materials for crafting weapons. I can do that. What if I did it really, really hard? Bash. Well, scrap's great for building things. Broke it. broke it. Okay. Alright, onward to the, uh, the doohickey. You guys, you guys can stay right where you're at. I'll leave you alone for now. Well, this looks like it's an important event. Or, you guys are just going to come fight me. That's fine, too. Stop shooting me, perhaps. That was not what I intended to do. You're injured. I'm wondering if there is a lock-on mechanic that I'm missing. Also, did I just burn the civilian? I am sorry. Oh! Interesting light-dark choice. I can choose to make a proclamation and kill the dude or set him free. Thinks you're right. The world is ruined already. Let's make the most of it for ourselves. Yes. Ushido be free! Didn't have much else to say, so no problem. Bye, be free. How do I... Oh, okay. 
I interact with the dude instead of the free option. Be free! I have brightened the world, and there are dancing chipmunks in front of me. Are, are you happy that you're free now? Guess how well the code lip Bilun is? Asks you to flap over to the Jagni who can show you how to hunt your prey. What if I don't want to flap over to the Jagni and instead I will murder them? Says you should take it easy. Murder. Murder. Can I have your gun? No? Okay. Okay. Well, these guys died. These guys died real well. I took a little bit of a hit for it, but whatever. It's fine. So, the ultimate question is, am I going the right way for this? It looks kind of like the answer to that is yes. I got a stabby. Sure. Ooh, they have a biomutant container thingy. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Why would anyone wear that? Why? No. No, I immediately must fix this problem. Yum. Biohazard. Delicious. Uh, so I don't think I want to go that way. Or do I? I think the answer was yes, I did want to go this way. Okay, so the warring party is up that little hill. Okay. So much easier to see all the colors during the day. Oh, that's a big dude. That's a, that's a big dude. I'm gonna pee on the signpost. And then I shall talk to Dude Man. Let's see. Hello, I am here to help you murder. Says it's time to set the outpost free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to the rival captain. Hmm. Is it really freedom? Freedom is not worth having in a world that's doomed. That's not an answer to my question, sir. Here's the first line of defense. All right, let's punch him. Oh. 
worthy of your works that drain pipe. Okay, I can go do that. Guys, are you gonna do any work? This is all. Is this all me? It's all me, isn't it? All right, it's fair. Spin the twirly wheel and open that drain. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Hi, kitty. Everything's clocking together. So do I have to swim through there? Oh no. All right, let's do it. Oh, that's not so bad. Don't just rattle those keys. Keep going. Come on in, guys. That cage is holding a helper. I'm supposed to let them free, I think. Ow. Of your loots, please. There's no loots. Okay, fine. Let's be free. Um, I mean, be free. They never lost hope you'd come, but weren't sure if they'd last long enough to see it. Says the tribe's been hard on them. You'll be fine. Once Go back and rest. On those who caged them, but trust you'll take care of it. I got this. Um, food, food, okay. What are you? What? Extermino frog rapster. I mean, it looks kind of like a flamethrower, but who knows? Um, sure? That goes into my gun slot? Yeah, okay. Okay. Sure. This is the thing. So that way is dude. So let's see if there's anything else to loot. I'm not supposed to do any damage, but they didn't say I couldn't loot. There's literally nothing here. Okay, 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 okay. That, that way. Fine, I'll follow the arrow thingy. But, 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 but thingies, thingies and directions. No, it looks kind of like a no. Okay. Just in case this goes, oh, horribly wrong, I can't save. Never mind. A sharpshooter. The scaffolding looks unstable. Uh-oh. A sharpshooter, you say? Can I shoot the shark? Better stay clear of the red ray. Here's oh. the second line. Hello, gentlemen. Defense. Hello, gentlemen. Can I um dodge, please? Can I can I can I dodge? Thank you. Well... 
how do I... How do I... Oh. That button. No? Not that button? <laughs> how do I... Oh, hello friend. Hello large person. Hi. What if, what if, um... What if you didn't come charging in like that? Hmm? Could, could I get you to not, please? That's a, that's a... Quite the battle scene. Um, dodge, 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 dodge. Can you come over here, sir? Timber. <laughs> that big bump will bring it down. I need you over here, sir. There you go. The a barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it. Then hit it toward the gate and blast it. That's... That's a thing. Sure. Smack it to get a barrel out. That looks slowly. Shoot it and watch it blow. Not too close, though. Yeah, not, not too close. Almost there. Wasn't I not supposed to do that much damage? Like just a just a thought. But they're very much encouraging me to do damage. Hey, Gizmo, what are you chewing on? Hey. Stop it. Stop it. Stop chewing on things. He's not supposed to chew on things. Damn it. Oh, he can be looted. He wouldn't let me loot him before. I got Marzipan. Lovely. Alright, let's go punch a dude. Can I pee on your flag? The outpost belongs to your tribe now. Oh. I got to pee on their flag. Nice. He says you made them weaker. But they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Wonderful. I did the thing. And now they're rebuilding. Oh, shops are open. Yay, shops. Tribe weapon unlocked. I got a knifey boomerang thing. Each tribe has its own tribal weapon. If you defeat a rival tribe, you acquire its weapon. By helping your own tribe, you've acquired its weapon. Great. So our tribe has the boomerang knifey thing. And once I defeat the other tribe, I get the staff. Looking forward to the staff. But the boomerang knifey thing looks kind of fun. Uh, you are now allied with a tribe. You can decide to switch your allegiance and ally with a different tribe. Go to a tribe fort and talk to their seafood to change your allegiance. Says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You've earned the privilege of carrying the tribe's weapon. I will wear it with pride, Lock sir. Figures the honor belongs to the tribe, too. Sure. Forgot I have to push a button. Alright. So, we did the thing. How do I uh, use the weapon? Is it... It's the boomerang. Okay. So... Interesting. It very much is a boomerang. Yup, okay. Got it. Understood. So, where are these shops at? They've got crops going. They've made this place pretty instantly. Giant blue pumpkins. So, shops, you say. Where be the shops? Are they down this away? 
Do we have random shops that I have to run into? I saw that. I saw that. Sneaky little hidden box. Uh, shops! Found the shop area. Hooray! Who's who's selling what? You are selling leaves. Shopkeeper claims you won't be able to find better goods anywhere else. <laughs> pew pew broker. I am ready for business. Show me what you have Says for sale. Usually a line, but today's your lucky day. Vendor types. Each vendor is specialized in a particular type of items, melee, uh, range, gear, clothes, or mounts. Mounts? Going to vendors and browsing their stock can be a great way to find better parts for your gear. If you're missing a specific part to craft a weapon, you can always check the nearest vendor. You can purchase items from vendors, provided you have enough green currency in the form of a leaf. The price of an item is listed to the right. Okay. Uh, sell items to vendor, etc. Yeah, standard. Okay. Range based types. So we have. We have pokers and pingers. Pokers and pingers. Okay. I currently have 150 leaves, so I am not exactly flush in the leaf department. Uh, range parts. Stuff. Great. And then we can sell. And I have a lot of stuff I could potentially sell. Uh, in fact, since I almost never use these, I might sell those right away. Because um, those are worth quite the leaf. And they just add a little bit of extra damage temporarily. So that might be worth looking into. They also have a bunch of hats I don't need. But they might also be worth scrapping, so that might be something to look into. Gear bits, weapons. Not sure why I'd ever want to sell any of these instead of just keep them on me, but maybe there's a limit somewhere. So you're the pew pew vendor. Uh, who else do we have? Pew pew vendor. You are a person in my way. You! You are a clothing vendor, I'm assuming. Says you'll get a special price and a wrap up on the double. Sure. Um, polymer scrap. And clothing. Oh, we got some interesting clothing options. I could dig it. All right, we'll come back and look at that later when I have you know money and stuff. And then where was the last one? I thought there was more. There's... Oh. Really? Neat. Giant fuzzy goat things. And then you are a knifey weapon dealer. Okay. Good. We have stuff to look at. I'm actually going to stop looking here. I'm going to look at the goat. I have to see how much the goat costs. Yes. Trade. Stop talking. Trade. Goat. Cert to ride the goat is 1100. Okay. Gives me a, an idea of what to aim for. But yeah, that'll be it for tonight. It's uh, very late and there's almost no one else left. So that's fine. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. Um, I, I can see some issues where people had with the game. But I am still enjoying it nonetheless. Um, and I'm probably going to keep enjoying it. It's a it's an open world game. There's a lot to do. So I might end up doing some stuff off stream. Um, just because there's just so much side questing to do. So much exploration to do. That it would take me probably 100 hours on stream to finish this. Which would be a lot of time. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. My brain shut off, but that's fine. Fastcar, thank you once again. Very much. Thank you. You're awesome. And have a good night. 
Anyone else who is still lurking out there, thank you all for coming. Thank you for any subs and follows that I did miss. <laughs> yes, Kitty. <laughs> Kitty says bye. So bye.